principal. Oh, it's metal furniture. This is supposed to be made out of metal. Wow. I've never actually been in a sheriff's office before. Or a department for that matter. I've never been in here before. I'll be in the living room. Instead of a nice room to put it, because that's what you call it, though. Something else. Hey, Nick, you holding up? Uh, all right. Yeah, yes. I, uh, I found Gypsy. She's just on the other side. Yes. And she's she's doing fine. Matter of fact, she's got a nice soft room. She's got a couch. She's kind of resting, laying down. And I asked, I let her know that. Hey, same thing. Nick was really concerned about her. We'll let him know I'm fine. And he, she said, I'm being treated well. Okay, so, okay. All is well. Hopefully that gives you a little peace of mind. It does. It does give me a little peace of mind. I'm Perfect. completely, I'm completely grateful. I'm right. you did that for me, sir. No problem. And I let her know you were fine as well, and that you were, you were kind of in the building, so she was comforted by that as well. Okay? Okay, sir. All right, now I'll try to get an answer for you here pretty soon. Okay, thank you, sir. You're welcome. Um, I don't have any new work for you yet, Nick. Uh, I know it's it's taken a long time. I'm gonna try to try to get an answer for you here pretty soon. Okay. Uh, this is Detective Brenner. How you doing? Uh, I'm just in emotional pain because I don't know what, what's I, what's the full situation going on with Tipsy. She's supposed to be here through the night, or what's going on? Well, and I, like I told you, I'm the transport guy. I don't have all those final disposition uh -huh. cards for you. I'm trying to find some other detective. This detective's going to be nice enough just to kind of sit and wait until we get the other one that's going to... That'd come be up. nice because I was actually starting to feel lonely. Okay. Sitting here by myself. I understand. It's a, it's a room that you're sitting by yourself. But That'd be all right. Well, just kind of hang on for a little bit. Okay. Okay? Okay. All right. Thanks, man. He doesn't know the final answer, but he did tell me what he could find out. I don't know the final answers. I mean, I'm going to work with them if they work with me. That's all I ask for. It's them to work with me, and I'll work with them. It's all about communication. I'm worried about it. <laughs> Everything to me. She does. She means everything to me. She told me she was gonna get kicked out. They like say, no, I go out there and I decide to get down there as soon as I can. I took a bus down there.
Yeah. I was uh, wondering, um, is there any way I could pass you to the bathroom, please? Yeah. Yeah, what, um, uh, is the other bathroom being used right now? Sure. Just wants to check. Yeah, we'll get you used to the bathroom. Okay. So what we're, what we'll do is, of course, hard to use the bathroom with the handcuffs pain. Yeah, it is. Yes. Okay. And um, and and here here's the deal. I mean, we'll we'll unhandcuff you. Okay. Um, put the handcuffs in the front, okay. and we'll leave them in the front. That's so much more comfortable. It's going to be so much more comfortable. But here's the deal. That means that you just sit and chill, and you're good. I understand, okay. sir. Okay. I understand. Go ahead. I'm, we're going to transfer the handcuffs from behind the back to yep. the front so we can. Sounds perfect. Pete, go ahead and stand up. Okay. Come on over here. Okay. Spread your feet apart for me. Okay, sir. There you go. I'm going to do this one first. All right. And just go ahead and put this hand on top of your head, okay? Top of my head. Uh, right there. Yep, right okay. there. Okay. All right. And then. Uh, so Please do not make it too tight. I'm not. Just relax. Okay. Other hand on top of your head. Okay. Okay, now turn and face me. Alright. Go ahead and put your hands on. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. Now do this. It's not going to be too tight. I'm an expert in handcuffing. Oh, yeah, you are. That, uh-huh. that's, that's Is that good? Thank huh? you, sir. Thank you. What do you have here? What's. That's just a burn. Okay. A couple burns okay. that I have from being taken back. Okay. When I. Okay, how about that, huh? Can I tell you I'm an expert in this? Yeah, you are. I've been doing it for 23 years. Wow. How about that? How old are you? I'm 26. Oh, so since you've been three, I've been (laughs) handcuffing people. How about that, huh? All right, so we're going to walk you to the bathroom now. Okay, Okay. so we're going to go. Straight ahead. Straight ahead. Chair, so thank you. You can have a seat there, and I'll be a little bit more comfortable with those in front there, like that. Okay, yeah, it's a lot more comfortable. All righty, just give me a, a holler if you need anything. All right, okay. I have one other question. Yeah, um, I was wondering, um, uh, when am I supposed to be able to talk to? I guess there was a detective that wanted to talk to me, right? Yeah, I don't know, uh, I'm not, when they're gonna be here or not. So, as soon as I figure out that, I will let you know. Okay, and okay. then will he have all the rest of the answers I need to know? Or? I would assume so, yeah. Okay. Okay? All right, thank you, sir. Thanks, Nick. Oh, these are those kind of handcuffs. She's okay. I mean, I heard that she was, but wow, I was struggling to like not have it to myself up. That's how comfortable it is behind me. They're treating me well as long as I listen. I'm listening. And they know it's not fun to have me on my back. They know it's not fun. They've done this for so many years. I've been wanting to for 23 hours. I 
I mean, each time I talk to them, I, I, I don't feel as lonely as earlier. I still feel lonely. Mainly because I, I mean, when I'm tipsy, I need to be around her. I need to be around her. She needs to be around me. She needs to be probably say the same thing. She wants to come around with me. I don't know what's going on with her. You don't know when everything's going on. I mean, uh, instead of really catching me, they just stand with me and make me tell Yeah. Oh. But hey, I'm grateful they did what they did with these handcuffs because they were um, not comfortable for Up like crazy. It's not bruised on my freaking arm. I had that nerve pinch, and now I have a bruise on the arm. My left arm is going to hell. How about that, huh, buddy? Who does it better? <laughs> Nobody than uh, Detective Brenner, right? Eh? <laughs> All right, drink it up and enjoy. Thank you, sir. If you need anything, you need to let us know. Give us a high sign. <laughs> yeah, see? <laughs> Just like that. That's good. <laughs> It'll, it'll be a back lunch. I think there'll be some milk in there, some food, probably a sandwich of some sort, huh? Uh, that yeah. sounds kind of good, huh? Yeah. I'm kind of hungry, too. I'm a little jealous. You get to eat and I don't. How does that work? <laughs> All right, so stand by probably within the next five minutes. We're going to get you a little food, okay? Okay, I have one question, sir. Yes, sir. Go ahead and ask I was uh, wondering, um, is there any update on the situation with my girlfriend, Gypsy? Um... I think they took her to the hospital to make sure she's doing okay. 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 Yeah, so she's in really good care. We have, the hospital we have here is among the best in the country. Yeah. So we're, it's really right. good. Yeah. I was so she can, don't worry about her. She's going to be very well taken care of. Okay, because I... She's in great hands. Okay, because I was uh, worried about her the entire time because yeah. I don't know what's exactly going on. Yeah. Hmm. Good Lord said to practice patience. <laughs> that right? is true. That, that is true, true, right? Yeah. Um, and then, uh, is there any other news you can tell me of her besides that? No, that's, I mean, that's all I know. I mean, I know that just uh, probably 10 minutes ago, uh, a deputy has taken her to the emergency room just to make sure that she's okay, and they're going to, you know, take the best care of her. So she's in really good hands. Okay. So she's being very well taken care of. Okay. And I mean, not as good... 
as, as you are, because, I mean, you have two of the finest detectives that are taking care of you. <laughs> so you're even getting better attention than she is. Oh, okay. Well, I was just wondering because, um, I don't know, uh, did anyone talk to her already? Uh, no. No one talked to her? No. Oh, uh, because I know that, uh, I heard that, uh, uh, what do you call him, uh, a detective wanted to talk to me, but I don't know why they wanted to, like, take her to. I'm confused on what's going on. Yeah, I, you know, don't worry about it. She'll, she'll be fine. She'll be fine. We'll keep you. Po I'll, we'll keep you posted as things kind of go along here. Okay. Cause so at some point in time, you know, there's going to be someone that's going to want to talk to you, and uh, I don't. I don't know anything about it, but I do know that you're here, and that's all I know. Okay. Fair enough, right? Yeah, it's fair enough. How's and, your uh, water? Is it cold enough? Yeah, it's cold enough. Okay. I uh, have another thing I wanted to just uh, maybe you can maybe fill me in. I was okay. wondering um. Uh, is she going to be released from the hospital, or what's actually going to happen? Uh, that I don't know. That's, uh, you know, that's where we talked about what we patience. Patience, yep. right? Yep. So everything will be in due time. Okay. Uh, I'll I've, probably know a lot by later today. Okay, because okay. I uh, just wanted to make sure she was okay. And I want to go to hold her one more time, is what I... Yeah, okay. Because I... Just to make sure she's really, because uh, obviously uh, shoots can always be seen from a physical perspe perspective. Yeah. So that's the reason why I. You just want to comfort her, right? Yeah. Make yes. her feel better. Yes. Yeah. I've, been, I've been worried about her for a while. Yeah. No, that's okay. That's understandable. You love her, right? Okay. <laughs> hey, guess what? This, hey, this is only this is only temporary. Just patience. Okay. Relax. As patient as they can be. Yep, yep, yep. And uh, uh, just in due time, right? Okay. Fair enough? That's fair enough, sir. Okay. You can call me Bob. Oh, okay. Bob. Bob. Okay, Bob. See? How easy that was, right, dude? <laughs> All right, I gotta go get your food. Okay. All right, stand by to stand by. Okay, stand All by right. to stand by. <laughs> cool. on the couch earlier. How is she getting better attention than me? They took her to the hospital. Make sure she's okay. All that stuff is automatically paid for by the taxpayers. Yeah, when they're in my when I'm in their custody. I don't have to pay a single cent. I'm worried about her. I don't really know. I just want to do she's okay. I want to be reunited with her as soon as possible. She did a perfect job, obviously, getting out of the house because. Oh, wow, done. <laughs> I'm just quick. All right? Yeah. All right, so here's what we got for you, buddy. Only the finest. Finest sandwich. The bologna is probably imported from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. So there's that. There's a little mayo packet there probably on there, or ketchup or something. That looks like this uh, salad, fresh, something. So I'm assuming this is like a mayo. How about this? Got a little bit of that. Got a milk for you, or no, this is 100% apple juice. I don't know if you like apple juice. Yeah, I like apple juice. Okay, a little apple juice for you. Okay, and do you like oranges? Yes, I do like oranges. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this just like this. Put your orange here. So when you uh, peel off your orange, just throw the peels right in there. When you're done with all this stuff, right in the garbage. Okay, got it, sir. You're going to be able to unpeel that, you think, yourself? Uh, I could try. Well, go ahead and move your seat up, dude. Get right up there like you're eating. You do well. Yeah, I can help you. Okay, there you go. You good? Yeah, I'm good. All right. Let us know if you need anything. Okay. How are you going to do it? Oh. Uh, Hi, sign. It's a nice Hi, sign. <laughs> there you go. Thank you for everything you've done. You are welcome. All right.
So we have a whole other bag lunch out here in the event that you are still hungry or just in a couple hours you get hungry or whatever. Okay. Okay. So you just got to let us know. How is it so far? Uh, pretty good, sir. Is that not the finest bologna from Milwaukee, Wisconsin you've ever had? Uh, it's actually pretty good. Is it pretty good? Yeah, uh -huh, it is. All right. I have a question. I was wondering, um, when uh, they arrested me, I lost all my things and they all fell on, out onto outside. Don't worry about that. They'll, they'll get the stuff together. Okay, because yeah. I was wondering where all that was. Yeah, so you together. have some of your personal property together there. Okay. Okay, yeah. We'll get it. Okay. All right. And uh, where am I supposed to get it back? Um, you know, they'll have to get everything together that's yours. Mm -hmm. um, now, um, do you have family here? Uh, yes, I, uh, well, not actually here, here, but I have family, um, at the house that I'm, I was living at. Okay. Yeah. Well, maybe, um, until we figure things out, can we keep your, they can keep your stuff there until things are figured out? Um... Yes. Well, I mean, I'm talking for the short term, at least for today, right? Oh, today. Okay. Yeah. That, that sounds terrible. Yeah. Then. Okay. yeah. Sound good? Yes. Okay. Yes, it does. Um, uh, but then uh, how am I supposed to get it back? Well, then we'll, we'll have to figure that out. Okay. okay. Let's just take today, and then we'll get your stuff. Let's worry about that tomorrow. Okay. Right? All right. So, or tonight, or whatever, but, tonight, uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Sound good? Yeah. Sounds All good. right. Is, uh, is uh, the detective who wants to talk to me uh, almost here? Um, that, that I'm not sure. I'm assuming they're going to be here uh, probably this afternoon. This afternoon? Okay. What time is it? I lost track of time. Uh, it is almost uh, 1 o'clock. Oh, okay. So it's 12.51 right now. Okay. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. This <laughs> milk. But yeah, possibly by tonight I should be released. I thought I would think because I'm going to be innocent. Yes, uh, so I was uh, just out of the question. Sure. I was wondering, um, is there any way that, uh, as I understood uh, that the other detective Bob, he uh, said that uh, 
Gypsy was taken to the hospital. Mm -hmm. I was wondering, is there any way where uh, I could be notified if uh, she was cleared for her being okay or anything like that? Yeah, as soon as she comes back, she's going to come right back through these doors. Oh, so she as, is. So as soon as I see her come through, I will let you know. Okay. Does that work? Okay. And um, she probably asked about me again. Um, obviously, I know you and every one of the people in the church department is doing all you guys can to help me and her. Um, I uh, just want to make sure she's okay, and obviously I want her to know that I'm okay too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because... I am, that's the reason I didn't finish my lunch, because I am worried sick about her right now. Oh, you got nothing to worry about. As soon as she comes through these doors, I'll let her know that you're doing good, and I'll talk to the deputy that took her over there and make sure everything was good with her, okay. and I will let you know. Okay. All right. All right. And my uh, one request that I had before, I was wondering would I get a chance to hold her once? I will see what we can do about that. Okay. 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 All right. Okay, thank you. You want anything else to eat? You good? Uh, I won't be able to eat anymore. No? I'm just worried sick right now. Okay. All right. Well, I'll already eat something. All right. Thank you. Okay. So she's going back. I knew they were going to question her. Apparently they didn't question her. They told me the truth. They didn't question her. I don't know. Yes, it's uh, 262 Okay. And she hasn't got back from the hospital yet, but as soon as she comes through, I'll let you know, okay? Okay, thank you, sir. You bet.
entertaining me. Never mind, what do you want? I want you to love my uncle better than I do. I love my opinion. In that situation. I was wondering, uh, what time is it? Um, about 2 o'clock, maybe? 2 o'clock. Okay, so I don't know how much longer it should be before she's back. Oh, no. yeah, sometimes that medical clearance takes a little bit. Oh, um, you know, okay. So they're probably, you know, checking her blood work and doing all that stuff and make sure she's got the right medication she needs. And yeah. So sometimes that does take a little while, so. Well, then. But as soon as I know something, I will more than be happy to let you know. Oh, then. Okay. All right. You need anything else? You good? Um, the only other thing I'm wondering is, uh, uh, does the detective that wants to talk to me, is, is he, um, like, uh, like on a second shift or something? Because I wonder why he, he hasn't been. I haven't had any contact with him personally. One of the other detectives has. So as soon as I see him, I'll try to get a little better idea of what we're looking at for a time frame here. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Because if it's possible for me to leave by tonight, that'd be nice. Okay. Yeah. All right. I will let you know. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thanks, Nick. I don't want to have a bot. It's so cool. One of the coolest future ones I've ever heard. Yeah, it was so great. Boss, come on, let's go use the bathroom. Okay. You have to take a leak or what? Yeah. And then we are. You good on everything else right now? Uh, for now. Okay. Um, is there any uh, sign of that it's Gypsy's back in the hospital yet? I have no idea. No? Because apparently. Gypsy, because that's my girlfriend. Okay. She is also taking in here. Okay. 
Okay. I'm guessing mine for questioning, but I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. I'm not watching her. <laughs> I just got you back here, so I just came on. So okay, because I heard from the other uh, de uh, detective that um, a deputy took her to the hospital and she was, she was supposed to come back afterward. Okay. But I, and then the one that he looked like you were talking to, he said that uh, he would keep me posted. Okay. She got back, but I don't know. What's well, I'll let you know. I know I haven't seen her, so. Okay. 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 Thank you, sir. Yep. She's probably been in here for questioning. I'm in here for questioning. That's what it sounds like. And we don't know why we're in here for questioning for. We actually have no clue. I mean, her friend, Dan, texted her. I saw the text with her. And then, yeah, things got strange after her. I don't know what we were thinking, what post. And it's really noisy. I was uh, wondering, um, because I asked uh, two other de uh, detectives earlier. Yeah. Uh, one, I think, is you get it when I call him Bob. And then the one that you got to talk to earlier. Um, okay. and anyways, um. Brad. Yeah, Brad? Yeah. That's the other one. Oh, okay. Um, anyways, uh, I asked for a request earlier. Okay. My request was if I could hold just once. Okay. That's my request. Yeah. And they said they see what they can do, but I don't know. <laughs> well, I hate that it sounds like a broken record, but I'll have to find out when when she's back or if she's back. If uh, my bosses would have to approve that as supervisor, so my lieutenant or whatever. And I will uh, talk to them at that point, and we'll see. Okay. All right. All right. Why do you say one last time? Oh, no, I just said not the last time. I just meant to say it as uh, a chance to, to hold her. Cause I, okay. I I just don't know fully what's going on. But I, all I know is that we're being questioned because I can tell by a detective asking for her, me in general, and her too because we're both together. But um, I can tell that uh, we're being questioned. Okay. But that's all I really know. I don't know what it's for, though. Okay. All right. So, uh, yeah, you'll do what you can? Yeah, I will find out, and uh, like I said, uh, that's above my pay grade, so I'll have to ask a supervisor. Okay. All right? All right. Thank and you, I'll sir. let you know. All right. I don't know if you need anything else. Then. Okay, thank you, sir.
What time is it, sir? It is 3.30. Yeah, somebody's coming to talk to you, but I don't know when they're going to get here. Oh, jeez. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I'm confused what's going on. Yeah, I know, and I can't really tell you anything either. Until okay. You um, need to talk to you. Uh, is that what, what's your hand taped up from? Is that from this morning? or? Yeah. Okay. Other than that, you're doing okay right now? Yeah. As much as I'm worried about her, I'm not going to know I'm worried about her, even though I'm in. I don't think I want to speak to her anymore. I don't want to hear her. I don't. I know these are the guys that are really good guys that's in this surf department. But, yeah. Miss Sarah is the top guy. This is the top advisor or the top person. And I believe it's the same sheriff that and, you know, guns being cooking for citizens and such. Because it stops crying and all that stuff. But, um... Question. 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 Just one? Yeah, one question. Okay, but... Um, the question was, um... Oh, that's what it was. It was, um, the question was, uh, uh, usually those who get taken to the hospital, they have a lot of, like, uh, like, medical conditions and such. Mm -hmm. Because I know that Gypsy has, uh, a condition she has to have medication for it. Yeah, meds. Yeah, meds, yeah. yeah. Um, I'm wondering, uh, because it's already been a couple hours since she's been there. I don't know how much longer it could possibly be. Yeah. Because really, I'm okay, except for... I think she's doing fine, from what I've heard. Okay, because uh, that's the only other thing right now, is that besides... Uh, in the overall sense, I'm fine, but I just, I'm also worried about her, and that's the only thing yeah. I'm worried about right now. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I guess she's doing fine. 
and I've only heard that from the guy that was out here before with you, Brad. Yeah. So that's okay. that's what I've heard. I haven't seen her. I don't know anything further. Like I said, I just started at two thirty here. So okay. All right. All right. And um, the last thing I want to um, like ask you is um, uh, is uh, I used to know the name of the sheriff because I, I got the chance because he was been on uh. uh an article before uh, because uh, he was uh, isn't he a uh, pro uh, pro gun? I think that was our old sheriff. It was our old sheriff. Oh, there's yeah. a new sheriff in there. Yeah, we had a new sheriff since January. New sheriff. Uh, yeah, the old one retired. Aww. Yeah. yeah. Everybody gets to retire. Oh, I, I understand that. I don't right. understand that, but that seemed like such a good sheriff. Yeah, he's a good guy. Um, so then who's in the uh, sheriff position now then? It's Sheriff Severson. Severson? Yeah. Uh, how is he? He's fine. Yeah. Is he a good sheriff? Yeah, I guess. I, I'm working for him. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm just wondering. <laughs> He's all right to me. So. Yeah. He's like a good guy. Okay. Okay. Well, yeah, please, uh, uh, if you can, give me an update on the situation. With him. I will update you as soon as I know. That's all I can ask for. Okay. So yeah. only a request. Yeah. I have. If you need anything, just give me a wave. All right. All right. And, uh, Obviously, I already know about the other one I mentioned. Uh, obviously, you got to talk to Superior about that, but mm -hmm. I hope he gives it okay. Yeah, that's, that's going to be up to their so, Yeah, because I am so, so worried about her. Okay. I mean, I had like, I, like, I, 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 like, like one sandwich and then another her. sandwich. I couldn't finish it because I was like, so scared, okay. like sick for her. Because yeah. I, cause, uh, I actually have a record of her a misdemeanor because okay. she has no record at all. Okay. And... Uh, she isn't used to this type of environment. Okay. And I, I didn't, I never planned to go back in this environment, so that's the reason why I'm confused on why I'm here. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, hopefully we'll get this move along pretty quick here. I hope so too. Right I do. Right. I really hope so too because, uh, from what it seems like, it seems like uh, I shouldn't be here, even though people are wondering if. Uh, I'm obviously a suspect for something, and I don't know what I'm a suspect for. Yeah. I don't know what it is. Okay. But, um, yeah, but anyways, yes, thank you for, uh, being willing to look into my requests. Okay. Okay. I will do. I will okay. do that. Okay. okay. Thank right. you so much. You're welcome. Um, I was just saying, I was going to say I was getting bored. Yeah, you're going to get bored too. I think it's going to be a little while before you get here. So. Um, um. Your lady friend's doing fine. She's back. She's on uh, another. Yeah. 
Um, did she ask about me at all? I haven't talked to her. Oh, I mean, I'm just I don't letting, know if I'm that's... just letting you know. Oh, oh, Everything's fine. Okay, so my girlfriend's okay. Mm -hmm. Um, and then uh, she had a uh, perfect clarity, uh, clear to the hospital, I hope. But she cleared? Mm-hmm. Okay, she's cleared. Yeah, she's cleared. Okay, okay. Yeah. Did you need something to read or something? Ah, uh, I'm not in, because I'm bored. <laughs> yeah, you want a magazine or something? Oh, that'd be nice. So they can find you, right? Okay. No, not right now. Okay. There, this will educate you. Oh, National Geographic. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sir, um, I was uh, wondering, um, uh, I'm guessing, I'm just wondering because that's why I'm guessing it. Are we both uh, being questioned or is it just me? I'm not sure. This isn't my case, like I said. Okay. Uh, my guess is that she's here. Mm -hmm. I would guess that she's going to be questioned as well. Okay, because I just was asking you from your experience, usually yeah. what happens. Yeah, if she's here and you're here, that's likely that you're both going to get questioned. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I, ex I uh, appreciate your, uh, yeah. your uh, honest opinion. That's my honest opinion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Caesar, Caesar, Caesar. Oh no, we got time. Okay.
finished the magazine. Done with that one? Yeah. Okay. I'm trying to find you another one. That would be nice because uh, it kept me busy. Yeah, I know. But, uh, and we're going to have to kill a little time because these guys that are coming to talk to you probably ain't going to be here for another four or four and a half hours. Wow. So it takes a while for them to get here. Uh, I'm confused on why it's taking so long. I guess they got a ways to come. Oh. So, that's what it's about. I mean, so, I'll find you what I can. I got some cookies and stuff here yet. Okay. That was from your lunch trip. They're going to send out something else for you yet to, to eat. But, yeah. it'll probably be another four hours or so before you get here. Wow. It sucks. But it does. That's the way it is. So, I'll try to keep you comfortable. So, let me know. No, if you need a bathroom, you need uh, another more water, even more food, whatever, let me know. Okay. Okay. And, uh, she's I'm sleeping. She's sleeping? Yeah. Okay. okay. Um, wow, she's sleeping. Yeah. Uh, did she get a run like me or where is she? Yeah, she's got a couch to lay on and stuff, so. Oh. A little, a little better situation. <laughs> not, not that we're trying to be hard on you, because we're not. It's just that this is the room you got. Her room actually had a couch, and so she was able to lay down. So, okay. sorry about that. That's uh, the way it is. So. All right. Um, did she ask about me? I don't know. If I don't know. I haven't talked to her. Uh, oh, I thought you might have talked to someone that was talking to her before. Yeah, well, I. They, that's all I know. I mean, what I just told you, so I told you she came back, she was medically clear, and then she's laying down and sleeping, that's what I heard. Okay. But I haven't seen her myself, so. Oh, okay, maybe... Uh, Probably after you talk to these guys, then, is, is when you'll be able to see if, you know, your request to hold her or whatever. Yeah, I want to be able to... be after these guys get here and talk to you, so. Because, yeah. You know, make that decision, all right? Okay, and um, mm -hmm. I don't know, uh, I hope I'm not asking too much. No, you, you can check? ask whatever you want. Could you check on her for me? I can't, because i got to be out here. But somebody else is watching her, so she's fine. Oh, do you can talk to them. Hmm? Do you can talk to them that's watching her? Yeah, they're in the other room, so I can't. Oh. They're in a separate area from me here. Oh. Okay. But they're still in the same building? Mm hmm Okay, okay. Yeah. But I used to stay here with you. I know. <laughs> All right. Okay, I'll see if I can find you some other magazines. Okay, sounds good. Jeez. She's sleeping again. Thank you. Okay. Um, yeah, I have one other last question. It's really uh, general. And the question is, uh, I've asked this mom multiple times, but uh, what time is it? It is 5.13. So you will not be here until like 9 o'clock at night? By 9.30, I would guess. 9.30? Yeah. 9 or 9.30, they should be here. Wow. It's not like they're coming from far, far away from what it sounds like. Yeah. It's a long ride, so they're on their way. Wow, jeez. I know, I had no clue what's going on, so I'm like, uh, what am I doing here? And uh, who is this detective that to talk to me? I'm just, yeah. I'm baffled. I'm really, I'm you baffled. Know, you know as much as I know. Okay. Okay. So I don't know much, I just know you guys are coming. And that's the time they're going to be here all. Okay. Um, do they, uh, do they, so they specifically ask only for me, from what you know? It sounds like they want to talk to you, yeah. Yeah, and only me, not Gypsy? Well, they might, uh, like I said, she's here, so I'm assuming they're going to talk to her. Because talk to her and yeah. talk to me? Yeah, but I okay. think, I okay. think, Cause I think you're, you're the main guy they want to talk to, I think. The main guy? Oh, okay, no. I think so. <laughs> yeah. I don't, you know, I don't want to say something to me. You know that that I don't know because I don't know. Yeah. But I, I think I think you are the guy they want to talk to. Yeah. 
But they want to put their enemies in the Yeah, I'm, she's here, so obviously I'm guessing that they must want to talk to her, too. Otherwise she wouldn't be here, right? <laughs> True. But then I don't want to worry me even more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I would. So. I'm glad she's okay, and I just, ugh. Oh, she keeps getting all these sleeps. <laughs> mm -hmm. Me and I got woken up really, really, like, early in the morning. Yeah, that's what I heard. And... Uh, I got so scared I peed my pants. Sure. And uh, she uh, wanted to hide in the closet with me because we didn't know what was going on. We were uh, we didn't know what was, what we did. We we were confused. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, she's originally from Missouri, mm -hmm. and uh, she wanted me to pick her up. So I went down there like, like on the ninth. Is actually when I got down there, and. From that point on, is I tried to get her out of state because as she, I guess her mom kicked her out on the seventh, as she told me, okay. and then it made me worry about her a lot because I've been with her for a very long time, like almost three years, and not told her it'll be three years. Okay. And um, my mom and everyone was uh, welcoming her into her home because they felt bad for her and. <sighs> And that's just pretty much as all I really can say because I don't know why I'm handcuffed or anything. Yeah. Okay. Well, when these guys get get here to talk to you, they'll be able to tell you what they're here for. Yeah, they shed some light on what's going on. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. All right. Okay. All right. They'll have some answers, and I'll have some too. Yeah. Exactly. And thank you for the little magazine. Yeah. I was wondering, uh, is she handcuffed like I am, or is she free? I don't know. I haven't seen her. Yeah. Okay. Darn it. I guess I didn't get his information. Oh. I don't know. Okay. I, I guess I didn't ask that either, though. Oh. But, uh, I would guess she's in handcuffs. I would guess she's in custody. She's here, so I would guess she's in handcuffs. Okay. I mean, to me, it makes sense too. Yeah. She was too, yeah. but I just wasn't fully sure how much special treatment she was getting. No, no, <laughs> not much more than you, I don't think. Okay. Other than there's a sofa in her room. That's all. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you. You don't need a bathroom or something. Uh, not yet. Okay.
Second thing I want to ask is, uh, um, what time is it? It is six eleven. Okay, time is eleven. Go use the bathroom. Come on. All right, sounds good. Are you getting hungry? Uh, not really. See if I can find you something else here to look at, right? All right. Huh. I have another question. Do you have any idea why my foot might hurt now? Because it hurts. Before uh, I got here, it didn't. Must be because I was trying to stay warm. Yeah, maybe. The way you're crouched. Is your ankle hurting or what? It's my foot itself. It's like on the side. Uh, like over here. Probably from the way you're leaning on there. Okay. Yeah, you can stand up in here. Oh, okay. Walk back and forth, or I if you get stiff sitting there. Okay. How old are you? 26. Hey, you don't get stiff yet, then you're too young. <laughs> right. Yeah. Okay. That's a good way to stay warm, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah, if you move around a little. Right. Yeah. Okay. You ready, out here? I'll okay. see if I can find you some more bags. Okay. That's what I must have felt right there. It's wet. It doesn't heal for crap yet. I'm just gonna run almost down. I'm just gonna mean when the last trade we are with me to me. What I I'm gonna see the last trade in my mouth and then hurt it so I can have music quick. Yeah, that's what draws my attention. in the bottom of the barrel. I'm having a hard time finding stuff for you. <laughs> oh, sir. Yeah. Um, okay. um, you can call me Todd. My name's Todd. Todd? You don't have to call me sir. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. Um, my uh, question was, uh, based on what's going on, on what it sounds like, it's like you're asking probably at 9.30 they'll get here, so then, would it be like by midnight by the time I get out of here if I mm -hmm. fall? Yeah, I would guess. If depending. I have no idea whether you're going to be staying or leaving or anything like that. I, it, you know, these guys got to come talk to you and uh, see what you have to say to them, I guess. And it's, it's, it's their whole deal. It's nothing to do with me or... Waukesha County, really, other than oh. that, you live in Waukesha County, yeah. and so we were asked by them, apparently, to bring you here, so they could come talk to you. Oh, okay. Okay? Okay. All right. All right, I'm not answering that, but that's why I said what's going on, just other than Mark. I'm not sure what was going on until now. Yeah, you've been pretty much dealing with since early this morning and here all day, so. Yeah. And we're just waiting for them, so hopefully in the next three hours they'll be here. Can't be much longer than that. I know. Yeah. 
All I would ask is... Right, so I, you know, whatever you need, if you need food, if you need water, you need bathroom breaks, whatever, let me know. So mm -hmm. I'll keep you as comfortable as I can. Okay. Right. Do you need a blanket because you're cold? I'll try and find you one. Uh, I've been cold since I got here. You need a blanket? Uh, that would be nice if you could okay. find one. I'll try and find one. Okay, thank you. I'm sure we can come up with something. Yeah. <laughs> Someone from very far away wants to talk to me. It's not even that it's coming. Apparently. I'll tell you what has to be kid. Tell you what has to be me. And maybe they want to call me. Be my guys. I don't know if they called me. They could have called me in. I would have came in. Wouldn't have been in this rough. The only thing is, it's lasting this long. Sorry. Well, API Bulletin. There's a lot of API stuff. Here's one more question. What time was it? 656. 656? Yep. And did you wake up yet? I don't know. Oh. I haven't seen her. I'm sitting back here watching you. I know, I know. <laughs> I, just, I just don't know how much uh, everyone in the department communicates with each other. But nobody's telling me anything um, about her. I know there's somebody sitting up front with her, that's all I know. Up front? Oh. In another room. Oh, okay. Like okay. this. Okay. But it's a little bigger, I think, isn't it? A little actually? bigger, there's a couch in there. Okay. That's the only difference, otherwise it's pretty much the same. Okay. Okay. Yeah, done with it. And done um, with it. Boring, huh? <laughs> Not anything really good. I'll see you, see if I can find anybody else to find you something around here. <laughs> I'm running out of stuff to... I, I, I don't get much. <laughs> I was looking around for other people to see if they had magazines in there too, but I didn't see any. Oh. Oh, look. Okay. Right. And uh, if uh, you could get maybe an update from someone around the uh, um, department possibly from, about her, I would appreciate it. What's going on with her? Yeah. yeah. How she's doing? Yeah. Okay. If I see somebody come through here, I'll ask them. Okay. okay. I appreciate You're it. You're good on water and food? Uh, yeah. And okay. I'm finding warm ones. You get warm now? Okay. Yeah. Good. All right. Thank you, sir. Okay. No pinching. It's not right. I don't do that. Right. Don't pinch, do that.
Just leave it. Oh, is it still out? Mm -hmm. Wow. Must have been tired. Yeah. Yeah. But she's doing fine. She's sleeping. Okay, thank you. Okay. Going so slow. I believe it. You've been sitting here a long time. That's why we're trying to keep you comfortable here. You well, guys should be here hopefully in the next two hours. So. Yeah, I appreciate your uh, hospitality. <laughs> well, it's not the Ritz Carlton, but <laughs> I'm trying to keep you comfortable here, Nick. You know? Yeah. All right. Okay. okay. If you need anything, let me know. All right, I'll let you know. Right here. Okay, thank you. She needed get something like her mom kicking her out or something for her to have a reason to come up. I don't know, kicks her out. I go down there and try to get her as soon as I can. I have trouble looking for her. And then she's asking where I stayed. The next thing I know, after I tell her I don't know what hotel I was staying at, or hotel I believe actually was, and I don't know what hotel. But, um, I don't know if she asked customer service or, oh no, the, the front desk or what it was. Because she ended up at my front door. The freaking door of my hotel. The number. But my stay in Springfield, as it always is, is was pleasant. It's a really beautiful city, in my opinion. I mean, the freaking tax is lower on the freaking how much you pay. You know, like a dollar fifty. You don't have to pay your taxes, but you had to pay a lot of money to show us at the hotel, that's for sure. Holy crap. Because we had so much trouble getting on the bus. Bus got full, and then another bus got full. 
متحده بیست من اومد دیگه اون چشی هم سیف اون هر نو هم سیف So I don't think I'm going to. I have a very, very strong record of telling the truth. My mom doesn't even think I lie at all. So if I ever was to lie, I would be bad at it. So, now that doesn't mean you know. Because when I was all I would do is talk to you. But uh, yeah, I gotta focus on this. Fresh food there, buddy? Take a look at it. If you like it, good. If not, you don't have to eat it. I mean, it's up to you. Okay. I'll get rid of this. This is getting old. Yeah. Uh, I'm okay now. Okay? Yeah. All right. I'll just keep it there with you in case okay. you change your mind. Um, Shouldn't be too much longer. I mean, uh, I want to say too much longer. Probably about an hour, 25 minutes, maybe, you should be here. Okay. And, uh, uh, I, I'm just so attached to her because she's my girlfriend and all. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's the reason why I keep asking her updates on Gypsy. Okay. I'll check. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. She's awake, smiling, and eating. She's awake, smiling, and what? Eating. Eating? Yeah, I gave her a bag lunch just like you. Okay, and uh, did she mention anything about me? To, uh... She smiled and said hi. I didn't have a conversation with her. Somebody else is watching her, so. Oh! Yeah. So she seemed in a good mood, but uh, I don't even know why that she might not even worry about me now. I'm supposed to be her boyfriend, but oh my gosh. Why well, do you think she wouldn't worry about you? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. She didn't even mention me. Uh, but I, didn't, I didn't talk to her, though. No. Oh, do you mean, do you mean? You just walked like, like, walk. I walked by. over, handed the bag, like I gave you, to, yeah. to the deputy there. Yeah. Looked in, and she smiled and said hi, and I said, he's got a lunch for you. That's all I said. Aww. I didn't, I, I didn't have, couldn't stop and talk because I got to keep an eye on you back here. Yeah, Make yeah. sure you're all right. Yeah. You good? I, bathroom or anything? And I appreciate it. I, I was just hoping that she would have said anything about me because I've been asking for her for so long. She didn't say Yeah, well, just, when these guys time. get here, uh, I hope they're going to talk to you first or her first or how they're going to do it. Yeah. But uh, they should be able to fill you in on details like that. 
Mm. You know how she's. I mean, she's doing okay. I just saw her just for a second, but she's fine. She's sitting up and she's fine. So. Okay. She was hungry and wanted something to eat. Okay. Oh, I'm. I'm, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm still recovering. I'm still recovering from my sickness of worrying about it earlier. Okay. So she's on my hunger right now. All right. You but, don't need the bathroom or not like that. No. Okay. But uh, could you possibly maybe just chat with a little bit? That door is locked. It's not going to go anywhere. It's actually not locked. It isn't? Well, I've been a good boy the entire time now, so why would I run? I would never really No, I, I know, but I'm supposed to sit here. I can't, I can't go a bit, so they got another deputy talking to her. Or sitting oh. by her. They're not talking to her. They're waiting, like you're waiting. Yeah. She's waiting, too. She's waiting, too? Okay. Yeah, for them guys to get here and talk, talk to her. Okay. The guys that you mentioned that I told you they had a long trip up. Yeah, yeah. You mentioned Missouri, and that's where you're coming from. Oh, they are coming from Missouri. Yeah, so. Something I don't know. Huh. Should be here pretty soon. Okay. Like I said, in the next hour and a half or so. Okay, I. I uh, I'm sorry for asking for something. No, else. it's okay. I'm sorry. I feel bad. Oh, no, you don't need to feel bad about anything. We're trying to keep you comfortable here and keep you fed and keep you watered and anything you need, keep you warm. So, you've been sitting here a long time. It's a long time to sit, yeah. so. Yeah, well, right. it is. Anything you need, let me know, all right? Okay, and could someone talk to her for me, please? And I just want to make sure she she's wondering if I'm okay or anything. Because I, it's almost like... I'm sure she's wondering what you're wondering, but I'll ask her when somebody comes back here, okay? Thank you so much. Okay. I've been wanting that all night long. <laughs> uh, that means a lot. I'll let her know that you want to make sure she's okay, right? And and that yeah, let her know that, that she's and okay. also let her know that, um, about you. yeah, yeah, and that's what I want to know, is if she's thinking about me, because I'm really worried about <laughs> I have no reason to be, because I know she doesn't take care of okay. but she's yeah. not in any danger or any threat or any harm. Exactly. She's okay. It's that I was able to hold her. I know, and after these guys talk to you and that, maybe you'll get, they'll, they'll, maybe you'll get to hold her again, okay? Okay, All I right. understand. Okay. And I do, thank you, like I said. I you mean, need some good. Kleenex? Uh, well, you okay. gave me a reason to. Alright, I did is ask me to take her up there. It wasn't my first will. But she had me to take care of the ticket for her, so this way she could get up there. And then, after that, my mom and my family, pretty much my family took her in with the wood arms. I don't know what happened there, but... Oh. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Okay, and, I'll let you know as soon as I know. Okay, yeah, that's what I was going to ask you. Right. Just make sure you were able to let me know that since... I'll let you know. If okay. I know you're worried. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, thank you uh, for your courtesy. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> Thanks for cooperating so nicely, okay? Okay. All right. All right. Oh, I miss that one so much. I've been wanting to hold her for a flippin' ever. Oh my flipping god. I've been wanting to hold her forever. Let me go to hold her. You might say, yeah, let him do it, let him do it. They've had a rough night. They've been here practically the entire day. They've wasted the entire day here. For no reason. I am so frustrated. That's what it is. I'm frustrated that I can't hold her at this very moment. The thing is, I am being patient. Even though I'm frustrated, I'm being patient. It's not easy, though. It's not easy at all. And the first thing that that's not easy. I'm actually warm now. Even though my 
I can't help it, I had to cry. I had to cry because I didn't want to miss her. <laughs> I gotta shut up about that shit. Seriously. I can't help it though. That woman means everything to me. She does, she means everything. She came up. So you say something about my boyfriend. What the heck is going on with this? How did that get even in there? Okay, that's something you put into taking care of this. That's part of this. I don't know what that's going on there. What the heck? I have no tears going down my face and such. I miss that woman. Oh, do I miss her? Sense of <laughs> that people talking to me. Oh my god. Oh, they have a detective watching me and a deputy watching her. Because I have more history with them. That's one reason why. But the freaking detective is really cool. It's really cool. The detective was watching me and Debbie watching her. Man, I miss that woman. Man, I miss her. I've been crying a good number of the hours, actually. I go off and on about it. I'm looking at the angel like where it makes this rain. asking about you and how you feel. Um, yeah, that she's doing fine. Oh. Um, and she's eating like I told you. Mm-hmm. That she was asking and worrying about you and how you were doing. But they just talked to a deputy who was watching her. Oh, that was the deputy? Oh. Yeah. Wow. Okay, thank you so much. Okay. Now I have at least some peace of mind for once. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's worried about you just like you are about her. Okay. Okay. That's this, I thank you again. You're welcome. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and you look if I cry. Why am I crying? That's supposed to give me peace of mind. It means so much to me to know she cares still. I mean, I, I don't know why she wouldn't, because I'm, she literally, like, worships me, and she admits that she worships me. But... Being these many hours away from each other, it's like it was when you were away from each other. It was like torture. And we don't deserve this torture. She wanted to move up here because she thought her mom was done with her. So I don't know. Something happened in Missouri. I don't know what it is. Something did. I don't know how bad it is. All I know is that I don't know. I killed her. I think. But no one. Like, like nothing's missing from somewhere or. I don't know what crime happened, but something happened, and I have no clue about what it is. I am confused, actually. I'm very confused. I'm crying because I miss you. It's only you that I'm crying. I don't feel sorry for myself because I have no reason for myself. I'm 100% innocent. 100% innocent. I'm so innocent that this is an insult to me. Yes, it's an insult. But yeah, I got a detective watching me. Except I'm the main one. She has a deputy talking to her. Yeah, that's how I knew they were talking about me. Not my gift. It just happens periodically, I don't know, at times. 
I'm trying to focus on this major thing. I'm missing her husband hell. She is worried about me too. And even though she's worried about me, she knows I'm okay. This is a misunderstanding of what this is. Yes, it is. It's a misunderstanding. They arrested me. And this sheriff department wasted their time for no reason. I actually feel bad for the sheriff department. I feel bad for him. Because we don't have a reason to feel bad. I mean, I've been asking so many requests the entire time. I'm not trying to want one. Where am I welcome here? Not at all. It's just that woman motivates me. Motivates me to hold her. That's all I want to do is hold her. Because me holding her will take away that pain and missing her so much. And that's why I go on and on and on. But regardless, I should be okay. I only hope. I'm not gonna like, guarantee myself it's gonna be okay or anything out of the ordinary. I just know that I have no reason to be here, so. I mean, I have no reason to be here. But I, didn't, I don't know what I did wrong, if I did anything wrong. I don't remember me doing anything wrong. I don't think I did anything wrong. So it's confusing. It's confusing why I'm even sitting in this chair with these handcuffs on. All I did is pick her up from Thunder. That's all I did. So yeah, we're both in custody, I mean, she's still for the on the cop side. I only hope she's adjusting this better than I am, because I am going to help missing her. I miss that woman, man. And all I can do is miss her. That's all I feel like I can do. Uh, that is a horrible car. I'm sorry, but if you ask, that is horrible. I mean, it has good help again, but I think it also has good somebody. I'm just sitting here and handcuffs for no reason. It's like so strange. So strange. I'm as innocent as it really gets. I don't know who got hurt, if someone got hurt, or if someone got robbed, or I don't know what the crime is. I know it's some type of crime, I just don't know what the crime is. That I might be being accused of. That I'm actually innocent though, because I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't do anything wrong at all.
think the reason why I'm the main target of my innocent, even though I'm absolutely innocent. So innocent that I should be in this and I should get home. Even though I am innocent, the reason why I'm so stuck here is because I'm guessing whatever the detective looked at is under my name. Like the internet, for example. And then it's under my name. Even though I might have not have posted something, or something online that was posted, or I don't know. I have to know what's going on for me to understand what's going on. And then I'll tell them what the truth is, and then I'll know that, obviously, because there's no other thing to do with that. I'm actually harmless. Yeah, I'm harmless. All these sheriffs and deputies are probably going to tell you now. I'm harmless. So I'll use a I beg because when I know they're just trying to protect me and to protect others and they're trying to do their job. But I also do it because I have no reason to try to get out of handcuffs, for example. When you are as innocent as I am, um, you have no reason to feel a need to go for something you can do. And I don't have to go for something because I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is that's going on. As soon as I learn, I'll probably be shocked in what's going on. Because I honestly don't know what's going on. To the point, it's confusing me. So yeah, she's worried about me. Well, now that she's talked to me and you talked to her and the deputy and... Yeah. Hopefully the deputy keeps her company if I can. You know, in a responsible way, obviously. But, uh... Yeah. I'm done. I mean, I don't know how long I'm gonna do that. Am I gonna stop freaking crying? It's like, I miss her too much. I, I, I am so damn dust to her. It's like, I, I literally am going crazy. I can't help it. I've been asking about her the whole entire damn evening, and then yet, she's all smiling and all giddy and such. She's all smiling and eating and I'm not hungry. I'm just not hungry. I'm, I'm, I'm mainly not hungry because I, um, was so worried about her earlier to the point I can't seem to feel eating at all. Maybe my appetite's gone. It's completely gone. There's no reason for me to eat when I'm in my note. That's like forcing myself to eat pretty much. Because me and her don't know what's going on, and we want to know. So this way we can be released. And I hope we don't waste that detective's time that's coming. And I hope that... The detective learns that she's actually of age, what I'm talking about. Yes. Her mom... From what I heard from her, her mom lied about her age, that I'm talking about. Apparently, um, she said her neighbors think she's 16, and her age is really 19, is it? No one's saying. Well, that's not even the truth. It's actually 23. That's her real age. She's two years younger than me. So, I mean, she's not going to be 24 soon. But yeah, it's amazing. I mean, I don't know how I have to sit here when I shouldn't have to.
Sun must have an answer, that's why I picked her up from. So now it's my system between me and her. And somewhere in that level, someone's gotta set me up with being angry about it. But I don't know. I doubt that though. I don't think it'll tell me out. I don't have any enemies, you know. No, I don't. Okay, now I'm really tired right now. Alright, I'm so tired. Still want to get um, the others. <sighs> I don't know if they'll talk to me first. I think they're going to talk to me first. If I would guess, since I seem to be the main one, they won't talk to you. I don't know. Let's go with that. Game over. Game over. Losing confusion. Let's see if we can tell them. Oh. Yep. I was uh, wanting an update on the time. Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock? Yep, they should be here. Seven. Yeah, within the next half hour, I would say. I hope, I hope, I hope. They went to pick them up at the airport, so. They should be back out here. Oh. At 9.30. Okay, nine thirty. Maybe they'll get here a little earlier. I'd say we're gonna have you gotta use a bathroom or anything? Oh no no no. Sure? Okay. Yeah. You good on water? You haven't eaten anything, so. <laughs> no, I haven't. Okay. Alright.
Okay. Right. Hopefully it'll get here pretty quick. Okay. And Gypsy's still doing okay? Yeah, she's doing fine. Oh. Just like you. As good as you can do for being here, right? True. Right. Yeah. yeah. And, and uh, I'm glad that we were able to figure that whole part out because that's one of the main things, the main, and maybe it was the main thing that I was worried about, it's just her. Yeah, yeah, and she's doing fine. And now I know that she was worried about me. Yeah. I can uh, at least have one more piece. Yeah, okay. Alright, let me know if you need anything, I'm right out here, and then, like I said, they should be here pretty soon. I'd say 30 minutes at the most. Okay. So. And we can get rolling, right? Yeah. That's exactly. what you've been waiting all day to do, right? Talk to somebody, right? Talk to somebody. I don't know who to talk to. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The guys that are coming to talk to us. So. Oh, them? Yeah, I want to talk to them to get over because yeah. I don't know what they want to talk to me about. Right. Yeah, so. So hopefully he'll be here shortly. Yeah, well, I would yeah. say within the next half hour. Okay. All right, good. All right, Nick, let me know if you need it. All right. All right. Just uh, trying to hang in there emotionally is all right now. Since I'm missing Gypsy so much. Yeah. Okay. Month 917. You sure you only use the bathroom before you get here? Um, you should go. Uh, maybe I should just try. I, yeah, agree. Okay. I agree. Maybe I should just try. Oh, it's not fun. Oh. Oh. oh, yeah, thank you. That was a good message, sir. Oh, that still hurts. Okay. Thank you. Yep. What's the best car to buy? Oh, uh, oh my gosh. I'm not taking forever reading these really closely. As I'm saying, just did it. Quick. All right. Nothing else you need? Uh, Good. Well, uh, could I get one more update on there before they get here? Hmm? Please? Yeah, I'll see as soon as somebody comes by, I'll ask them, okay? Okay. All right. Okay. to see if we're in the area, please. Because we're in two separate rooms. She's next to me. They would maybe even let me see her. They might let me see her. At the end of this, they may actually let me see her. I'm probably going to break down and cry when I do, though. And she's probably going to do the same. I'm going to be so happy that we get to see each other again. Because we don't know what's going on. We don't know if someone um, framed either of us or what the heck's going on. 
She didn't even want to move up here because you know, I kicked her out. She was uh, trying to find out uh, what my freaking um, hotel number was. Uh, I don't even think she even asked for it, nothing in a way. She just asked for my freaking hotel room. And then they asked me, no, she's at my door. No, she didn't answer me. I don't think she even asked me. Anyway, I can't remember if she or not. It's strange. It's, even though that's something she would do, that's actually her. That is her. She would do that. She's spontaneous like that. So, best car to buy? And he asked me that I told him I was having trouble even picking. I mean, a test drive uh, rating doesn't mean necessarily it's the best car to buy. No, it's not. So cold, even the guard so bad. Keep myself freaking freaking out. Like, what the heck is going on? Why do I have him up outside my home in a spot yelling up the stairs? Sometimes do. I think I like. I mean, I underestimate how, how much you really carry around. At times I really do. I keep on forgetting how uh, how much he really does care. Oh yeah, yeah, you tired. I decided to stay awake the entire time. I don't think that was supposed to be here in a second. She's okay. She's just asking for me. Oh, she's asking for me? She's doing what? Oh my gosh. They were communicating spiritually. <laughs> That's what happens when you don't come talk like that. Next thing you know, you freak yourself out when you learn to know about it. I'm like, okay. Wait a minute, she's just doing what I did. Keep her going, she's gonna have to do this very job. said that. Or asking about me. I don't know what she's asking for. It wouldn't be surprising if she did ask for me. And I'm the one who requested to go and see her anyway, so. I don't care if these things are on me or not on me. If they give me free hands, I can hold her, I'll do it. You don't give me free hands and I can hold it, I'm still happy. 
Some of them even hold up. And then if I can put this out pretty far, I think she can do the same. But then again, I don't know. Do not have any dick people? But when I get the chance to hold it, they allow it, which I don't know why they wouldn't allow it. Because they are trying to claim so much. But we can do this as best we can together. I'm stuck there, so I don't know what I can do about it. At the moment, she's just gonna love me, but she's okay. I don't even believe me, this guy doesn't want to be stuck on his entire shift. We can, that's the thing. Probably feel bad for me. I don't feel bad for me, I don't feel bad for Gypsy at all. Even though I don't believe I deserve to be treated, I'm being treated. But. I forgot to ask you, uh, what airport did they uh, pick them up from? Since uh, I'm trying to figure out if it's in Milwaukee or... I would assume Milwaukee. Okay. That's probably where they flew into. Okay. okay. That's the closest one. Yeah, that's what I would have thought of too. Yeah, that's the closest one. Yeah. Yeah, I would have I, I would expected that by now, but okay. it's got to be any minute. So, okay. we'll just hang tight. I'm trying to. Yeah, yeah you're doing awesome, dude. Huh? You're good on water and all? Uh, I'm getting close to being done with water, actually. I'm slowly but surely getting done with this. <laughs> Alright. You gotta go to the bathroom right now? Uh, I went a little recently, actually, so... Did you? Yeah. So you're good? Yeah. Alright, cool. Alright. Yeah. Thank you. 
what you need. Only this touch is uh, reasonable. I'm tired now. I was wondering, um, I don't know if uh, someone could check and see, but I was wondering, is he getting paid on like I am? Because I think everyone's like, when did to get this over with? Yeah, actually they just pulled in, so. They did? Yep, they are in the building. Okay, so, um, it'll be just a few moments, but I, I can go check on Gypsy for you, okay? That'd be pleasant to be good. Not a problem, okay? Okay, thank you. I'm tired, so tired, they're in the building, we get She was doing good, and she smiled, and she said, yep, yeah, I'm doing good. Okay, because uh, before, it, was, it sounded from the other uh, detective that she was worried about me, but okay. I don't know if she... <laughs> yeah, they could be. We didn't talk very long, but... Oh, okay, so okay. I just ran over and checked in her, and she's doing good, so... Okay, cool. All right. It's good to meet you. All right, perfect. Thanks, Nick. Okay, thank you. Okay, so she's still okay. You smile. Yeah, she's a... Uh, your name works very well as long as it is with her. You said you move on her life. No. You know that I'm a lot more modern now than I used to have in my life. She even made her name. It's perfect for her. Or like his name. Oh, apparently I'm a building. Mom is waiting to be. I want to talk to. I wanted to make sure Gypsy got up here safely. I didn't know that I'll do whatever it takes to obviously have the condition, best condition you could give her. Had to take her to doctors and figure out a way to set that up and Uh, 
wondering, um, uh, well, Norris, isn't that the, the deputy that's watching Gypsy that just you guys are talking to? Because I remember, uh... I know they've been switching and going back and forth. Oh, they've been? Okay, I'm not sure. So, they've been taking breaks and stuff like that, so... Okay, because, uh, um, it almost sounded like she was in a high school book for about me or something or something there. Because I noticed that was one of the deputies, but I didn't know. Yeah, they've been kind of shuffling in and out and going back and forth a little bit, so... Okay. Rotating a little bit, just like I was here earlier and now I'm back, so... Yeah, I noticed. <laughs> so, I took a little break and now we're back, so... Same thing's happening over there. Oh, okay. You said a few minutes, no? I mean, moments is what you said, moments. Yeah, yeah. I'm... They're just getting all their stuff together. Okay. I mean, they're like literally right out here, so... Oh... They're just uh, getting their stuff in order and they'll be in shortly. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Thanks, Nick. Mm -hmm. I'm waiting and waiting, man. It's painful as hell. I said deputy that's really watching Gypsy. I noticed that face. He's inside, I think she's crying. Let me take a drink. I keep asking for my father and all this stuff. This is ironic. I'm just looking to. I might have fallen asleep. They don't get in here soon. Okay. Yeah, they're going to be in here soon. Okay. waiting process I've ever been in custody for. It's a way. It's been the longest night for me ever. Not to mention it's like seriously I've like ever hang up on me. I don't even know what's going on any more than obviously someone has talked to me about something that must have happened in Missouri. I don't know the hell it is, it's over this time, I know. I'm just so glad, don't worry. And they ask me if I stick to my story, I tell them, yeah, I'm gonna stick to my story. Please, it's a joke. I'm waiting as patient as I really can. I've been in here for practically the flipping for the almost. Yeah. Okay. So, just so you know. 
waiting in anticipation. Uh, so that I could give you a heads up. Okay, um, do you think this is going to take a long time then? Uh, I don't think it's going to take real long, but I don't, I don't know exactly what they need to talk to her all about, so. Okay. But as soon as they get done chatting with her, they'll be in to speak with you. Okay. Alright. Thank you. You bet. I never ever had a chance to ask her if she uh, went to the service test to find my number or what? Or she suggested. Because she did get turned over. Saving up my water. Come on, let me get my vital needs for me. Overall, I mean, they even made sure I was okay emotionally. Not a lot of detectives are really far for when they're in custody. Okay. I was wondering, um, I'm getting sleepy. Is there a possible, a, a possibility that you could maybe even a soda or something? Mm-hmm. To make me wake up a little bit? Sure. Like a Coke? Uh, that'll do. Coke? Could I say Mountain Dew or something? Uh, Coke will do. Okay. Alright, as soon as it comes back, I'll go get everyone. Okay, thank you. So he used to be in the night to the point that's like Uh, 
I don't die. I don't think that. Oh, you don't drink that? No, not that. Okay. I don't drink that. I don't drink that. I stopped as soon as I could on that one. I'm like, whoa. I don't drink that coke. I just don't. I don't have a man on a diet, and that's actually my poor diet. No, it's not. A normal coke. You don't have normal cokes in here or what? This is so much more cookie than this one. I'm just saying. Sure. I don't even know how I'm awake right now, honestly. I've probably been awake more than 12 hours for sure. What sort of you guys have here? I don't know, he's got some Coca-Cola. Uh, is that normal Coca-Cola? Yeah, normal. That's, that's what I was uh, asking the other detective. He got it misplaced. Okay. Yeah. They got the regular. They just gotta find your cup. Looking for a cup. Oh, okay, okay. You gotta find your cup. I don't think you wanna drink all two liters, do you? Holy Lord, I didn't realize that big. Jeez. Yeah, you just look and grab a cup and then we'll get you. A glass. Okay, that'd be right. nice. Thank you. You betcha. Okay, so they got it. It's just intuitors. What's going on? What's going on? Like, uh, did they get it? Did they not get it? But like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Man. You know, the thing I would be excited for is that they did not deny it. It was, uh, me and Manuel and Gypsy. That's all I want to do right now. But I already cooperate with them. That's all I've been doing is cooperating with them. <laughs> they actually let me know what's going on. I'm like, oh, oh, okay. I didn't know that. I wonder how this was used. Because I knew that he was supposed to be getting a new one. I'm like, oh, he's like, wait, wait, wait. You don't have that? They're trying to get me a cup. Most likely it's even a small one, unfortunately. Freaking two liter? Are you kidding me? I could drink a two liter, but I don't think I need that much. Even though my blood sugar, I guess, is really good. Apparently, I was weren't as uh, healthy as a meal. Apparently, and she passed through just fine too. So, yeah, and she's walking around. So, you see the real gypsy.
Let's see if I've been in this one. I'm wasting to be in it. Now the ones you can feel the burning in the other side of that, man. It's actually not comfortable at all. Oh, there you go. No ice. It's <laughs> cold. Yeah, that's what I it It's cold. Okay, now you take your coke straight. Yeah, I take it straight. Thank you. Alright, anything else? Um, that should be it. Not much longer, you think? No, you should be in here pretty soon. We're finished, I'm talking to her, so. Okay. I'm gonna be talking to you. Okay. Um, I just thought about a question that's actually quite important to me. Uh -huh. I was wondering, um, if they're done talking to her, are they gonna have her stay there for a little longer? So, uh -huh. Are they talking to me? Uh -huh. So you, you guys can decide if I can hold her? Yeah. Because, yeah, uh, oh my gosh, this is getting unbearable. I'm uh, missing her as much as it is. It's getting unbearable. Okay. Yeah, she's gonna be there for a long time. Okay. Until they're done talking to you. Okay. Okay. And then uh, after, and then after uh, that whole situation, uh, if they get done talking to her and then talking to me, and then if you guys do let me and or hold each other again, um, what would the final thing most likely be based on the outcome? I don't know the, the, the outcome of the night is what I'm saying. I don't know what the outcome is yet. I'm going to talk to you. Okay. Okay. All right. After, after they're done talking with her and then I talk to you, then I know make the decision on what the outcome's gonna be tonight. Okay. Alright? Alright. Okay. Anything else? Uh, Are you good with the bathroom? Uh, no. No? No. Okay. Thank you. Alright. that water but I need something to give me an oh my gosh I am freaking crazy I mean to the point it's unfair well actually technically it is unfair I got this going on in me and I mean they did what they could do with me to warm up but the thing is that the amount of map we continues to keep going as long as I am in here and the light is on
has to be getting away, is it midnight yet? Almost, about quarter to. Ah, uh, okay. So, I'm getting there. Yeah, seems like they have a lot to talk to you about. Yeah. Anything else? You everything else good? Uh, no, 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 right. no, not yet. Okay. I think you get some more food there or something? Um, I never touched that food. Oh, no? Not hungry? No. Okay. Alright, need anything else? Um, oh, jeez. Well, the thing is, you wouldn't really be able to give me an estimation on, like, what's going on. That's yeah, the thing. Unfortunately, I'm just sitting in that chair. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So, I'm not privy to everything else, so. If I knew, I'd tell you, but I don't have any idea. Okay. Appreciate how patient you've been. Yeah, I've uh, been waiting the entire time. Yeah. Alright. Well, let me know if you need something. Alright. Thanks. And, uh, yep. And, uh, I hope, uh, the outcome of this the night goes really well because I can't see why I shouldn't. Okay. Alrighty. Sounds good. Yeah. That's what you talk to. Hi. Oh, okay. Hello. Hello. So you've been here a long time waiting on me to get oh here? Oh my gosh, have I ever been. I tried to get here as fast as I could. Are you tired? Uh, I have stayed awake the entire time. Okay. Okay. Uh-huh. Well, I'm going to talk to you, and I guess you said you wanted to talk to me, so yeah, all yeah. right. Yeah, I want to. All right, I'm sure you have a lot of questions. Yeah. You probably want to know what's going on with Gypsy. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to answer your questions for you. Did you get something to eat? Uh, no, they offered that to me. But you didn't eat? Uh, I ate something before that. Okay, what did you eat? Uh, uh, they're called ham sandwiches. I guess they, uh, offer that with, uh, mayonnaise as well. Oh, do you like mayonnaise? Well, I don't like them with bologna, though, so it's just I the mayonnaise, but not when I just left alone because I did. I've been, like, so worried, sick about Gypsy. Okay, we're going to talk about Gypsy. Yeah. We'll talk about Gypsy, okay? Okay. Um, because I know you got a lot of questions, and I want to answer your questions, and I want to talk to you, and, um, see what's going on. Okay. okay? Before I do, I'm going to read you your Miranda rights. Have you ever been read your Miranda rights before? Uh, it sounds familiar. Sometimes they do it on TV, and but w- the way I do it, it's going to be a little different than probably what you've seen on TV, but uh-huh. it's probably about the same, okay? okay. All right. Can you read and write? Uh, yeah. Okay, I'm going to ask you some questions I already know the answers to, and that's one of them. I know you can read and write. So whenever I'm talking to you, I may ask you some questions I already know the answers to, okay? Oh. Okay? Will you fill out this top part for me? Sure. You got handcuffs on? Yes, I do. You care if I, you want me to take them off? Would you That'd be more be, comfortable? That would be a uh, pleasure if you okay. did. Because I these things Have you had them on a long time? I've had this entire time. Okay. We'll take them uh, off so you can get a little more comfortable. <laughs> that probably feels a lot better, doesn't it? Oh, I have uh, been waiting for that for a long time. All right, so let me... It says Nicholas. You go by Nick, Nicholas, something different? Um, I prefer uh, 
Usually by my family, I'll be called Nicholas, but by friends and uh, other people, I usually be called Nick. What would you like for me to call you when I'm talking uh, to you? Uh, Nick. Nick, okay, I'll do it. Um, That's your address. Okay, my home address. Oh, jeez. A little too much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think of, uh, I include my, uh, Big Ben and all the rest of... Is it just Big Ben? Is it, you just put Big Ben there. Okay. I could probably figure that out. Yeah. Big Bend. Uh, is it Ben or Bend? Bend. Oh, okay. Big Bend is what I'm saying. And then this right here is your date of birth? Uh, okay. Five, twenty, eighty-nine. And how old does that make you? 26. 26. Okay. <laughs> right here is schooling. So that is like, did you graduate high school? Or yes. Okay. So That's as far as I've gotten. Okay. So just put uh, HS or high school or something there just so that way I'll remember because sometimes I forget HS. things. So screen. And then here is the date. Date. Uh, I, I lost track. It's been so long. I think long. it's the 16th. I don't have my phone with me. But um, I believe it is the 16th. You know what? Let me go look real quick, okay? Are you comfortable with that? Yeah, please. All right. Do. I'll I'll go get the time and the date. Okay. is I'm going to read each one of these out loud to you. If you understand it, then just initial after it, okay? Okay. All right. Before we ask you any questions, you have the right to, you must understand your rights. If you understand that, then, then put your initials right there. We'll go through each one of them together. Okay. Well, this, uh, well I have a, a question. Yeah. If you can may ask. Um, is it okay if I put it right there after you read them all to me? We have to do them one at a time. Oh, okay. Okay, so that's just so I can make sure you understand each of them. Okay. Uh, just your initials. Yeah, just like that. Okay, the next one is you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in court. That's a little different than on TV. I don't yeah, I told you. <laughs> you have the right to talk to a lawyer for advice before he asks you any questions and to have a lawyer with you during questioning. Right there. If you can't afford a lawyer, one will be appointed for you before any questioning if you wish. That one goes right there. Okay. If you decide to answer questions now without an attorney present, you can stop answering questions at any time. Okay? Okay. All right. Sign right there. If you initial that if you understand that. And can you read, Nicholas? Yeah. Another question I knew the answer to, but I went ahead and asked it. But if you can read this paragraph right here to me out loud, and if you understand it and agree with it, then you can sign this paper. Okay. Uh, I have... Okay. Uh, please forgive me. No! I'm no wait You're so fine. Long. You're fine. Okay. All right. I have read this uh, statement of my rights, and I understand what my rights are. I am willing to make a statement and answer questions. I do not want a lawyer at this time. I understand and know what I am doing. No promises or threats have been made to me, and no pressure or... Coercion? Coercion. I've never been able to say this word at I all. I know. Do you know what it means, though? Uh, doesn't it mean, like, a form of punishment? Yeah, or trickery or anything oh, like okay, that. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. Yeah coercion of any kind have been used against me. If you understand and agree with it, then you can sign it. Uh, all right. Um, and then I've got to sign it, too. Okay. Oh, as a witness. Okay. Yeah, they always <laughs> make us sign them, too. Uh, I always sign it as Nick. That's fine. Anyway, I know to sign it. All right. Thank you, Nick. 
Okay. And you said I could call you Nick, right? Yep, yep. All right. All right. So I guess you have a lot of questions for me, and you've been waiting to speak with me, right? That's yeah. what they said? At least, uh, I didn't even, I lost track of how many hours. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so um, I want to answer your questions, but I kind of want to uh, ask you some questions first. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah, and then we can maybe do. take turns. Like, I'll ask you some questions, you can ask me some questions. Is yeah, that, that, that sounds fair to me. Okay. And that's what I want to do. I want to keep it fair. So if it ever seems like it's not fair, you just let me know, okay? Okay. 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 Um, so you said your name's Nicholas. Yes. And what is your middle name? It's Paul. Paul. And what is your last name? It's Gordy John. And how do you spell that? It's J-O-D-E-J-O-H-N. Okay. E-J-O-H-N. And you yep. said how old are you, Nick? I'm 26. 26. Where did you go to high school at? I went to high school at uh, Nathan Hale High School, which is in West Dallas, Wisconsin. Okay. So you haven't always lived where you live at now? Nope. When, how long have you lived in uh, Big Ben? Only months. Oh. So before that, where did you live? I lived in Waukesha. Okay. Is that a city or a county? Or it's a city. City? Okay. Yeah. Is that a big city? Uh, it's the... Uh, it's a uh, city of Waukesha, but well, this is obviously the county of Waukesha, so, yeah. So they have a county named that and a city named that? <laughs> I bet that gets confusing. Oh, not me, because I'm actually born from there. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. So do you have any kids? Uh, no. No kids? No okay. kids. Okay. Um, I, I, as you can imagine, we've talked to Gypsy a lot yeah. tonight. Because uh, it's been a, quite a wait. Yeah. So we've talked to her, and... Um, and she told us a whole bunch of stuff that's happened to you guys. And so I kind of just want to talk to you and yeah. and yeah. start from the beginning, maybe, like how you guys met or whatever. You know, right. is that, can we start from where you guys yeah. met? Would that make you feel comfortable? I'm fine with that. Okay. Where did you guys meet? It was a, a site called uh, ChristianForDatingFree.com. Okay. Yeah. Is that like a dating site? Yeah, it's for okay. Christians, but it's meant to be free. Okay. So, so you don't have to pay any money for it. It's yep. just a place you can go to to meet people? Yep. yep. Okay. And have you met a lot of people on there? Um, I met a couple others before I met her. Okay. Yeah. And what was, do you guys have like names or how does it, how do you know who you're talking to? Um, she, uh, when I talked to her, it was, uh, where... It actually had her name as I was reading it. So what is her name? Her name is Gypsy Rose. Gypsy Rose. Yeah. Okay. And then what was your name whenever she was talking to you? Nicholas Gordon. I'm honest about it when I was online. So. Okay. Yeah. So you had your name and then she had her name. Yep. And then you guys met on there. And yep. then so once you met on there, what what happened? Um, we uh, got closer on there and we uh, connected more and more. And then we uh, got comfortable to where we, uh, about like, I, I don't know how to explain it. It's like, I, we, it's a, the way that we clicked is it made it seem like uh, we somehow just knew we were right for each other. Okay. So we, like, what was it, like four days, I would have to say, four days later, we uh, started a relationship together. Okay. Yeah. And so your relationship what kind of relationship was that that you guys started? It was uh, uh, one of those uh, committed ones. Okay. Committed relationship. To each other. Committed yep. to each other. Yep. So you weren't on there looking for other people and she wasn't looking for other people. Yep, exactly. Okay. That's exactly. So, and it, so did you guys start communicating other ways other than that website? Um, Since you're a couple now. Yeah, we uh, we tried to do a site called meetme.com. Okay. But... Uh, that gets confusing because <laughs> there's so many, I have so many friends on there. So. Okay. Um, and then, uh, other than that, what else was it? There was a, uh, they did do uh, Facebook for a little while too. Facebook, okay. Yeah. And what is your, your name on Facebook? It's, uh, it's my name. Is Hank, it's very young. Okay, and how about hers? Um, well, actually, she got rid of hers recently. Okay. Uh, because uh, me and her, because uh, I don't know how much she told you. I hope she told you everything that I do know also. Okay. Um, apparently from what she told me, her mom kicked her out of her house. Okay. So she uh, texted me to pick her up. 
Okay. And what happened was I uh, got on the bus about a day later, about in the afternoon of that day. Okay. And then I got back to, what was it? I believe it was Springfield. Is where it's okay. Lives. Yeah, that's where it is. It's, I'm all loopy from being so away. Okay. So long. Um, yeah, you know, Springfield, Missouri. I, uh, as soon as I got there, I walked straight to a, uh, hotel and then I let her know that I was at the hotel. Okay, so you got there on a bus. What kind of bus was it? It was a Greyhound bus. Okay, so you got to Springfield, Missouri on a Greyhound bus. Yep. And um, you walked straight to a hotel. Yep. Do you remember what that hotel was called? Yeah, it was uh, called uh, Days Inn. Days Inn. Okay. And that's in Springfield, Missouri? Yep. Okay, so you get off the bus and you walk straight to Days Inn. What kind of clothes are you wearing? Uh, oh, jeez. I don't have that good of a memory at this okay. point. Okay. Okay. I can't remember. Was you wearing jeans or shorts or something? Um, I'm always wearing usually athletic clothing. Athletic clothing? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you get off. Do you have luggage with you or anything? Yes. yes. Okay. What kind of luggage do you have? I had uh, uh, my clothing. Okay. Uh, since I wasn't sure how long I was going to be there. Okay. I was worried sick about her when I got there to okay. where I wanted to find her as soon as possible. Okay. Because I knew she was wandering in the streets. Okay. So I brought like three uh, days worth of clothing because I was going to do all I could to find her okay. at that point. And then what were you carrying your clothing in? It was a duffel bag. Oh, okay. What color? It was a uh, red and black. Okay. Was it like a Nike or Adidas or? Um, my dad gave me his uh, uh, duffel bag. It's a marble, marble. Uh, you know, the cigar company marble. Yeah. Yeah. That's uh, what kind of it is. It's one of those kind of duffel bags. Okay. And so, so you get to Springfield, so you're excited, you want to see her, so then yep. what do you do? Um, I text her, and then she, uh, I, there's obviously a lot of, like, free public Wi-Fi spots around there. So okay. Uh, I don't know where she texted me from, but she was able to find somewhere to text me from. Okay. And after that, uh, we would, uh, periodically keep in touch. Okay. Um, but and I, so you're texting from your phone? Yeah. What is your cell phone number? It's a 262-501-9008. Uh -huh. Okay, what is hers? Uh, she wasn't using her phone number. She what was she using? She was using her uh, Yahoo uh, ID, which I have no clue what it is. Is that like Yahoo Messenger? Or what? Yeah, it's one of the Messenger things they use texting for. So you can, from your phone, you can send her a message to that, and then she can send you a message yeah, back yeah. and forth, and you guys can chat with each other. Yeah. Okay. So she tells you that she's got kicked out, you're coming here, and you're coming to see her, and you're going to find her? Is yeah. what you're telling me? Yeah. Okay. And so you guys start communicating like that, and then what happens? And then uh, it wasn't until the 10th, is when I was able to actually uh, get her to meet me. Okay. Uh, what happened was, is I uh, told her uh, exactly where I was on the actual, what road it was okay. and everything else, where the actual hotel was. Okay. And uh, after that, um, she didn't really text me for a long time. I was confused and why. Okay. And then uh, as I'm going outside my hotel room, uh -huh. I ended up going on into her. Okay. As, as I'm trying to go get an actual, like, soda. Okay. So, so you're going to get a soda and you just run right into her? <laughs> <laughs> it was right on the same level that my hotel room was on. Okay. Um, and then what happens? And then uh, I, I realize it's her, so I'm like, okay, I guess I open my door back up. And then I, because uh, apparently she uh, packed because she knew her mom was going to kick her out. Okay. And I had to bring all of her clothes and everything else back into my hotel room, so okay. this way she had somewhere to put it. Okay. And then after that, uh, I asked her if she wanted to get a soda with me, and then she walked with me. Where'd you go get a soda at? It was uh, on a vending machine that was outside. Okay. That the uh, hotel user provides. Okay. And then what happened? And then uh, me and her pretty much uh, stayed inside the hotel for pretty much the entire time. For okay. my, Because the thing is, with my uh, bus ticket, uh -huh. it was a round trip. So I, at first I thought I'd be able to get her back since she wanted to move in with me, obviously, because that's just when she's up here. But, um, yeah, uh, when she uh, got a hold of me and then me and her actually went to the bus station, I learned that she actually couldn't get a bus with 
the same one that I already had. I had to read and do my actual schedule. Okay. So after that, I uh, did it. I got it renewed for pretty much nothing. It was, it was free. Okay. And then I uh, helped her with her bus ticket afterward. Okay. Did you give her money for it or? Uh, no, I, I paid for it for her. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then what happened? And then uh, because the the one that was I had to change. Uh huh. Because of that one was changed, uh, we ended up going back to the hotel. Okay. Just to uh, rest. Okay. Pretty much. Okay. And uh, we ordered food, and we were uh, pretty much just resting there because okay. we didn't know what else to do. Because okay. It was Where did you order food from? Um, uh, one place was Domino's. Okay, and they delivered it to your room. Yep. Okay, so Domino's delivered to your room, and where else? And the other was uh, Papa John's. Papa John's, okay. Yeah. And then, did they both deliver on the 11th? No, no, no. Oh, okay, so... We were on separate days. Okay. Uh, one time was uh, on the 10th. Okay. And the other was on the 11th. And then okay. when I had to leave on the 12th, because that's what I scheduled mine and hers for. Okay. Um, we were able to get the bus, but after we got on the bus, we had trouble getting all the way up here pretty much because the bus in uh, Chicago uh, it was full so we had to wait for a second bus okay and yeah it was frustrating yeah at least you guys were together huh yeah I that's, agree that's I agree. good um, okay so did you guys go out anywhere to eat um uh, we were thinking about doing it but we figured it was safe because my mom well she she's a worry freak she, she when, if she knows that I'm in another state, she's in a uh, Apparently, for what she told me, she was a basket case while I was down there. Okay. Because she was so worried about me. But um, she told me to stay in the hotel, and that's pretty much why I did it. Okay. Because she was just... Because she told you to? Yeah, because she feared for my safety. Okay. Much. Okay. So, then you guys get on the bus, and then you guys get here, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Did you ride a Greyhound each time you went? Yeah, All the way yeah to buses. there was no other uh, bus station. So where's the bus station stop at here? Uh, uh, here it stopped in Milwaukee. Okay, and then how did you get from Milwaukee to your house in Big Ben? Uh, my mom picked us up. Oh, okay. So then you, would you call mom and say, hey, we're here, come pick yeah, us up? Yeah. And so was that the first time that your mom ever met your girlfriend? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I guess she's your girlfriend, if she's your Yeah, girlfriend. she is. Yeah, she is and you love her? Oh, do I ever. You I was, love her a lot? I was bummed my eyes out waiting for her this moment to where I can talk to you. Okay. Because I was so worried about her. Yeah. Um, I think she loves you, too. Um, you know, we spoke to her and uh, for a long time. Um, and I'm kind of thinking maybe she loves you a little more than you love her. Because you're sitting here telling me things that I know aren't true. And then she's sitting here telling me things that are true. And if you really love her, I don't think it's, you would want her in that situation, okay? The situation that she's in right now. Um, and so you, we're going to go down two paths here, okay? And that is just you're going to have to be honest with me. Okay. Because if you love her, if you love Gypsy, then you're not going to let Gypsy get in trouble without you being there to help her, okay? I understand. And so what you need to know is that Gypsy told us everything. Okay. We didn't talk to Gypsy all this time and not get everything. Okay. That's what we do. Yeah. And so, Nick, I want you to do the honorable thing, okay, uh -huh. for, for Gypsy and for your family, okay, because uh -huh. we know what happened. And um, I want to give you the opportunity to start over and to tell the truth, okay? And the truth is, is not what you've told me. I must have it. I told you to believe it was the truth. Um, I believe the part that you got on a bus and went to Springfield. Okay. I believe that's true. Okay. Um, that you ordered food to eat. I believe that's true. Okay. Um, I believe that it's true that at some point Gypsy came back to with you to the motel. I yeah. believe that's true. Yeah, yeah. I believe Gypsy got on a bus and came here with you. I believe yeah. that's true. Yeah. That's all I believe. Okay. Okay. Because okay. you missed a lot in there. And I understand that you missed a lot because you're probably, you don't know what to say because you don't know what Gypsy said. I understand that. Mm -hmm. But I'll tell you right now, Gypsy did tell me everything. She told us everything. She told us about you coming there. That she told us what happened to Mom. She told us about your guys' relationship. She told us about the cleanup. She told us about all of that. 
Uh, okay. okay. So, do you want to um, do the right thing by Gypsy if you love her? No, the truth is, I worship her. So I know you there's do. No way, there's no way I wouldn't do it on her. I know. I, for her. I know you do. I believe you do. But this is the point where you're going to prove whether you do or not, okay? We mean you talk. Okay. Okay? Because it's not fair. It's not fair to Gypsy for her to be honest and you to, to, you to lie, okay? Mm. So I what I want to know is, is um, can you tell me this first? Okay. Did Gypsy know that you were going to kill her mother? Um, honestly, she asked me to. Okay. So, so Gypsy knew you were going to do it because Gypsy asked you to. Yes. Why did she ask you to do that? Because she felt it was her only way to be with me. Okay. She felt like if, if you killed the mom, then that's the only way she could be with you. Yeah. Do you know the mom's name? I don't know her real name. All I know is that she goes by Dee Dee. Dee Dee. Okay. So, um, has, has Gypsy asked you to kill anyone else? No. Okay. She just wants you to kill her mom? Yes. Okay. And how did Gypsy ask you to do that? Did she ask you to do that in a text message, on a Facebook, or in person, or something different? Well, it was more than once. I mean, you had uh, uh, Facebook. Um, we, we would talk about it on there. We would talk about it even on Texas. Okay. And what, what kind of things would Gypsy tell you that she wanted you to do? Uh, she wanted, uh, the thing is, is that I know she loves her mom a lot. I know she does. Yeah. Uh, I had the, well, I was up here with her, uh, and she felt guilty about the whole situation. I had to make sure she was safe. And meaning, like, I had to make sure she felt like she could be comforted by it. By you? Okay. Yes. Okay. Because, uh, and then the truth is, okay, I'll admit it. I did actually stab her mom. I will admit it. I know. Okay. I, the only reason I did it is because I did it for me and her. That's the real reason I did it. I would have never did it if it was not for me and her. Okay. So, you wouldn't have done it if somebody else would have asked? No. Okay. There's no way I would have did it for anyone else. Okay. So, you just did I it. truly do worship her to the point that there's nothing I want to do for her. Okay. Okay. Well, I think you've proved that, right? Yes. I think that you've proved that, that you, you do what she asked you to do, if that's the case, if she did ask you. Yes, yeah, she did ask me. Okay. And she asked you more than once? Um, Did she ask you why you were here? She asked me more than once because uh, what happened was at first she wanted uh, if, because the thing was is that she wanted to do it herself if, but she was too uh, what's the word uh, not, not cautious it's uh, I guess skittish is the word I'm looking for okay. she didn't want to actually do it Okay. because she couldn't live with herself so doing it Okay. And um, as for um, me, I honestly to this day I still feel guilty about it. Okay. I do. I do. Right. Because I, I didn't. Because I, I learned so much about her mom after she told me and more and more about it after actually being able to live with her for a little while. Right. And I actually realized how great of a mom she was. Okay. So it kind of makes you feel a little guilty. No, no, no. I feel a lot more guilt than that. Okay. Okay. Um, oh, cause so Gypsy's telling you about her mom. Yeah. And then. Yeah, how okay. she is and, and uh, her accomplishments and all. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, so when you came here to Springfield, that was your purpose to come here, so that way you could do that for Gypsy. Yes, because I wanted to be with her and I okay. wanted. So did Gypsy know you was coming here then to go ahead and kill Dee? Yes. Okay. Um, so, why did you guys decide that you would stab her instead of shooting her with a gun or poisoning her or doing beating her with a bat? Like, why did you guys decide stabbing would be what you did to kill her? Um, honestly, uh, the thing is, is we really wouldn't have known how to poison her. Honestly, we wouldn't have known how to. Okay. Um, I mean, she looked up multiple times of how to do it, how to do it, because she wanted to find the quickest way to do it. Okay, so like she looked up on the internet, yes. like how to kill her mom? Yes. Okay. And so she was looking for the easiest way to do it? Yes, okay. this way she would be in less pain. She wanted okay. her mom's death to be quick. Okay, okay, so you wouldn't have known how to do the poisoning. And so, um, 
again, why did we choose the knife? Like, why the reason why we chose the knife is because I guess she thought that it would be quicker if she bled out quickly. Okay. So now, did she tell you that, or is that something you think she thought? Most likely that's what I would think she would think. Okay, but she didn't tell you to stab Not her because she'd bleed out quickly. No. Okay. That's what I figured she would think because okay. it makes sense. More holes, faster they go away and the faster they are at peace. Okay. So the more holes you put in into the body? Yeah. Is that what I'm understanding? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So um, so that's why you, you, you chose to stab her. Yes. Okay. And so how did you get the knife? Like where'd the knife come from? Did you bring it with you from here? No, no. Okay. Did you buy it somewhere? She bought it for me. Who bought it for you? Uh, Gypsy. Where did she buy it from? Online. She bought it online? Oh, wait. No, 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 no. It was not online. i got to get that straight. It's not Yeah, online. don't lie because you don't want to get Gypsy in trouble for something because you're going to lie about it. I, I know. Okay. I know. Uh, she somehow found a way to get one uh, at Walmart. I don't know how she did, but she did. So when you got... So you didn't bring a knife from here? No. So when you got here, she had a knife? Yeah. So did she know you was going to stab her? Yes. Okay. Okay. So what did the knife look like? Um, it was a, it had a red and black handle. Red and black? Yeah. Okay. And how, about how long was it? Uh, gosh. I don't know. Use your hands to show me. I can, maybe it will look, maybe that long, maybe. Was the red and black handle plastic or wood or? Uh, it was, uh. I think squishy grip. I can't remember what it's called. It was a squishy grip? Yeah, it, it's hard to really put into words. Okay, on the edge of the knife, like, if, if you, can you draw the knife for me, maybe? I'm a bad artist. You're a bad artist? Okay. Would the knife, like, okay, if the knife went like, was the knife smooth like this, or was it jaggedy like that? It was jaggedy. Jaggedy? On one side, on the other side, it was smooth. Okay. And what color was that part of the knife? It was just the black. I meant, oh my gosh. I am so sleepy. That's um, right. Uh, it's, it was just the normal color of what a uh, blade usually looks like. Like stainless steel type yeah. look? Okay. Yeah. So like, see this edge of this table right here? Kind of like that? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So that's what that looked like. And then the handle was red and black. Kind of squishy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Could you hold the knife with one hand or did it take two hands to hold the knife? One hand. One hand? Yes. Okay. Have you ever stabbed anybody before this? No, that's the reason why uh, this was the very only one person I would ever do this for. Okay, the only person you do it for is Gypsy. This is the first time you ever stabbed anybody. Yes. Okay, so when you're stabbing D, where is she at? She's on her stomach. On her stomach where? On the floor, in the bathtub, or somewhere different? On her, uh, on the, oh my gosh, I got it in my mind. Where, oh, I have one second. You're fine. Take your time. <sighs> She was on the bed. Her bed. Her bed. In her in her bedroom? Yes. Okay. So was she sleeping on her stomach or just laying yes. there watching TV or? Sleeping on her stomach. Okay. So she's laying in her bed sleeping on her stomach. Is she covered up with covers or uncovered or? Um, it, actually when, when I did it, it seemed like um, she had her, it was almost like a nightgown on it, it seemed okay. like. Okay. And, uh. She barely even was covered at all. Okay. So it okay. was easy access to her party. Okay. So she wasn't have a, didn't have a bunch of covers on her. It made it a lot easier to yeah. do that. Okay. And um, so when she's laying there, where's the first place you decide to stab her? And uh, I just was in the random spot in the back. In the back, just random? Yes. Do you know how many times you stabbed her? Uh, four. You stabbed her four? Yeah, four times. Okay. The fourth one, I, I felt it go into, I think it might have been her lungs. Okay. Because it was harder to get out. Okay. Did it take one hand to get it out, two hands? Uh, I had to yank it out. Okay. With one hand. Okay. So it did, so the others came out easy, but this one, that one kind of came out harder? Yeah. Okay. And so, um, you only stabbed her four times? Are you sure about that? Well, as, as in stabbing, I stabbed her four okay. times. Okay. But I did actually cut her one other time besides that. Okay, where'd you cut her at? On the back of her neck. Okay. And did you use the same knife that you yep. did the others with? Yep. Okay. And <clears throat> when you did the cross the back of the neck, did that even cause an injury or did you see any blood or anything? Um, yeah, she was bleeding. Okay, she's bleeding. Um, 
And so did you, um, did she scream or holler? Or? Yeah, she did. What was she saying? Uh, first she said help, and then she didn't know, she didn't recognize who I was. And she okay. Said, who are you? And then. She said, who are you? Yeah. Okay. And she didn't recognize who you are, and she says help, and then what does she say? And then she called up for Gypsy, but Gypsy didn't do anything. Okay. She hollered for Gypsy? Yes. And did she holler for Gypsy once, twice, five times? Three times. Three times? And what was she saying? Can you tell me how she said it? Um, she pretty much yelped it. Yelped it? Yes, she was like, Gypsy! Okay. Yeah, she was loud. And what did you do when she did that? Uh... It didn't stop me from keep on going. Okay. You just kept stabbing her? Yeah. Okay. Um, is there any reason that we would think that maybe you stabbed her more than four times? Not that I'm aware of. Okay. Now, did Gypsy come in and stab her? No, no, no. Gypsy never stabbed she her? She couldn't do it. Okay. That's the reason why she asked me to. Okay. Did you try to get Gypsy to come in and stab her? No, I would have never done that. Okay. Um. So when you say four actual stabs, so those are the ones that went in deeper? Yeah. Was there some little ones? Or? There, there might have been, because I, the truth is, I counted the, the ones that went in deep. I didn't count any other, if there's any other ones. Okay. So if there's any other ones, you just didn't count those because they didn't go in as deep? Yeah. Okay. But you know that four of them went in deep? Yeah. Okay. Do you know where those four deep ones were? Uh. Are you counting the one in the back of the neck or not in that four? No. Okay, so this, the back of the neck would be something different. Yeah, it would be it's completely separate. Okay, so the four that went in deep, do you remember where those went at on her body? Um, I honestly can't remember because I, I think it's just a, a blockage because of the guilt. Okay. I can't remember. Okay. Sometimes there's things that we don't remember and that I'll understand that you don't remember, but you might re not remember something that's important that I know you remember, okay? okay? But that you might not remember, and I understand that because in the situation, okay? Um, no. So, when, where was Gypsy at when you were stabbing her? When you were stabbing Dee in the bed, where was Gypsy at? She was uh, hiding in the uh, bathroom. Okay. Why was she in the bathroom? Why was she hiding in the bathroom? Because uh, she didn't know if uh, her mom was going to kill me or not. Oh, okay. So she thought mom might kill you. Yes. Okay. Did she think mom had a weapon or? Um, uh, she didn't believe I could actually do it. That's what I think it was. Okay. She didn't, she didn't think that you would just go in there. And she, you, you don't know if she... Yeah, like she had confidence in you? Is that what you're going to say? Yeah, yeah. She didn't think I was okay. capable of it. What what, it who, whose decision was it for her to go in the bathroom while this was happening? Um, she said that, that that's what her she wanted to do. Okay. So I, I just let her do it. And okay. And she got the door behind her, so. Okay, so she went in the bathroom, locked the door, and and you went to do yeah. whatever you were doing. Do you remember, um, did Gypsy ever come out and see her mom? Uh, I wouldn't let her. You wouldn't let her go in there and see her? I didn't want her to be traumatized. Okay. Um, um, did you have sex with Dee? No. You didn't stick your penis anywhere on her? Nope. Are you sure? Yep. Positive? I'm 100% positive. Okay. Uh, did you stick your penis in her mouth? Nope. Okay. Did your penis touch anywhere on Dee's body? Nope. Okay. Did your mouth touch anywhere on Dee's body? My mouth? No. Okay, you didn't kiss her or nope. lick her or anything like that? No. Nope. Okay. Um, did did Gypsy come in and do anything like that with her mom? No. Touch her mom's privates? Or? No, she wouldn't do that. Okay. No, she wouldn't. Okay. Um, all right. What do you think about people that have sex with dead bodies? Uh, it's quite disturbing, honestly. Okay. That's just, that would bother you? Yeah. Okay. I don't like necrophilia. Okay. Oh, that, is that an actual thing? What that, does that mean, necrophilia? Necrophilia actually means I have sex with the dead. Okay. Have you ever known anybody to do that? Uh, no, I only know the word because uh, I tend to look up words that seem to be popular in today's culture. So, okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. So, um, you, you stabbed Dee in the bed, and Gypsy's in the bathroom. And so what happens after you're done stabbing D? 
I uh, knocked on the door and I also scratched on the door <coughs> twice to let her know it was me instead of her mom. Oh, so is that a code you guys came up yep. with? Okay, yep. so what was the code again? It was t three knocks and then two scratches. Okay, three knocks, two scratches. And yep. then that was so that way she would know in the bathroom. That, it would, that was so Gypsy would know that it was you and not her mom. Yep. Okay, and did you guys plan that out before? Uh, we... Like I said, we went back and forth between more than one idea, but that would end up being the one that we sticked with. Okay, okay. Um, so, um, after that happens, after you do the three knocks and the two scratches, does she open the door? Uh, not right away. Okay, what happens? She wanted to save uh, her private part okay. and uh, her legs. Okay, she wanted to save her private part and her legs? Yes, for me. Okay. Um. Did she, has she ever done that before? Or is this something new? Um, uh, usually her mom does not let her shave her legs. Okay. So her mom doesn't let her shave her legs? Yeah. Does her mom let her shave her privates? Her, uh, her mom never seemed to care about that before. Okay. So, yeah. So how did you know she wanted to do that for you? Um, uh, because uh, she, uh, well, she did it. Okay. That's how it's kind of... What did you do while she's shaving her legs and stuff? I waited for her. Okay. And then she gets out of the bathroom? Is her legs shaved and everything's yeah. shaved? And then yeah. what happens? And then uh, we uh, start to clean up uh, the ground and everything around. Okay. Clean uh, up. What are you cleaning in the house? Uh, yes. You're like vacuuming and dusting and stuff like that? Uh, cleaning up uh, such as uh, anything that has memories of her. That's actually what we were doing. I don't understand. I'm sorry. Like anything that had... Uh, uh, I mean, she took uh, some pictures away, and she actually threw them in the trash. She, okay. She tried to get rid of things that would uh, give you guys the idea that she really lives there. Oh, okay. Okay, I see what That's you're saying. What, yeah, yes. Um, okay, so did, did you guys clean up any blood or anything? Yes. Okay, what kind of blood got cleaned up? I believe it must have been mine because I accidentally stabbed myself in the process. Where'd you stab yourself at? Right here. Oh my goodness, do you need stitches or anything? No, I've been holding it okay. <laughs> together. Is that time. the only place you got cut, or did you get cut other places? Um, I don't think, well, before I got rough earlier, uh, there, there was a spot right, ironically, it's the very same spot they end up hurting me yet again. Right what do you mean, got hurt again, roughed up? What do you mean? Uh, when I, well, when they uh, arrested me, oh, they took okay. me to the ground, and that's the reason why I have all these on me. Okay. But but did that was an injury from when you stabbed D too, and yeah, then it just got re-injured whenever you yeah okay, and, and then that other one on your hand right there that's the cut that you cut yourself yeah okay what are those up there these up here are from uh, when I hit the ground because I hit my face and my stomach and uh, part of my leg okay under the concrete okay when they arrested you yeah okay all right so um. So when you guys are, when you and uh, Gypsy are cleaning up the blood, are you helping Gypsy clean up the blood, or is just Gypsy doing it, or just you doing it? Uh, we, uh, for a while, we did it together. Okay. And then, because she wanted to get it done faster, she did it herself. Okay. Afterward. And what did she do it with? Um, she uh, used the order, uh, uh, what the heck was it? It was like an, an cleaner slash order remover. Okay. Do you remember what kind of bottle it was in? I was like a reddish bottle. Reddish bottle? Okay. And um, how do you use that to clean? Like, is that a spray? Is that a powder? Is it uh, liquid? Or? It's a liquid. Okay. She had to pour it down. She pour, where did she pour it down? She poured it on top of wherever the blood was. Okay. And then she would use uh, either a uh, paper towel or... Uh, she never used any rags, surprisingly. But yeah, that's the main thing she used, was just a paper towel. Okay. That or... Um, there was also these wipes that she used. Okay, okay. And so, um, she cleans up the mess, the, the blood, that may be yours because you can yeah. cut yourself. Yeah. Um, and then what happens? And then, uh, she wanted to have sex with me, so I did. Okay, she wanted to have sex with you? Yes. Okay, and so where'd you guys have sex at? In her bedroom. In? Her bed. Her bed. In yes. uh, Gypsy's bed? Yes. Okay. Um, and so you guys have sex. Yes. And what kind of sex? What, what is sex like to you? 
Well, it's, well, to me, uh, the kind of sex that I was it was pretty much uh, about one hundred percent consensual. Is okay. What I'm looking for, yeah. Okay. Because uh, she, uh, I, obviously, I was the one that was in charge, but she went along with it willingly. Okay. Yeah. And so, what did you guys do when you had sex? Um, uh, we pretty much did all three things. We did the anal. We did all of, all of them. Okay. Yeah. So you you had anal sex with her? Yes. And then what's the other? I can't guess. Um, uh, oral, uh, all okay. Of, like I said, all of them. Um, uh, vaginal, all of them. Okay. Okay. When you say oral, is that you providing oral sex to her and her providing oral sex to you, or both? Is this, both. Okay. Both. And that happened in her bed. Yes. Okay. Um, do you know if this is the first time Gypsy ever had sex? Mm, actually, I do know. If it is. Is it or not? It isn't. Okay. So she's had sex before she had sex with you? She's had sex with me. It's actually one when we took her virginity. Oh, so you guys had sex a different time than this. Yes. Oh, when did that happen? It was uh, in a, uh, what the heck was it? It was a theater. In a theater? Yeah. In Springfield or somewhere different? Springfield. Wow, did her mom know? Um, <laughs> we kept it from our mom. Okay. <laughs> Where did you have sex at in the theater? It was in a bathroom. Okay. In a girl's bathroom or boy's bathroom? She just took me to the boy's bathroom. I didn't have any choice. I just went right into the boy's bathroom. I guess she's okay with it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Was, was that um, a year ago? Two years ago? Um, How long ago was that? That was back in March. Back in March of? This year. Oh, okay. So you were in Springfield before. Yep. And did her mom know you were here? Uh, no, I got to meet her mom in person for the first time. And was her mom nice to you? or? Yeah, she was really nice to me. And okay. then, I don't know what it was, but apparently the night got ruined in some way. I, I couldn't, I was trying to understand what was going on with her mom, but okay. I don't know exactly what happened. So did, did you meet her at the theater? Yeah, I did meet her, but I was waiting for, for quite some time before I did. Okay, okay. And then what happened after you guys had sex at the theater? Um, uh, we uh, went to our movie and watched it. And then what happened after the movie? And then I said, um, my goodbye store. Go buy a store? No, I, I said my goodbyes to her. Oh, say goodbyes to her. I was like, go to a store. Okay, so you said your goodbyes to her. And yep. then you went your way and you went yep. back home? How did yep. you get here that time? Um, she got me the money. She gave you money? Yep. How did you get the money? Uh, she sent it in the mail. Okay, so was it cash that she sent you? Yes. Or, okay, and how much did she send you? Uh, that time I believe it was 400 because she wasn't sharing how much I was going to need. Okay, so she sent you $400. Yeah. Okay, and um, uh, did she send you money this time for you to come? Uh, yeah. And how much did she send you this time? Uh, same number, actually. 400, 400? Okay, yeah. and then she just sent it to you in the mail on cash? Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. And then, so, so let's go back to the time that you guys just had sex. Um, what, do you remember what day that was? I can't remember the day. Okay. You don't remember if it was a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Sunday, Saturday? Oh, gosh. Um, if I had to guess. It's you don't have to guess. If you don't know the answer, you don't have to give me an answer. I would say Tuesday. Okay. If I had to guess. Okay. If you had to guess, you'd say it was a Tuesday. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, um, was she, did Gypsy enjoy the sex, like, or was she s telling you to leave her alone? No, or? no, she didn't tell me to leave her alone. Okay. It was very consensual. I mean, she, at first, it, uh, she, uh, pushed me a little bit away because she wasn't sure how rough I was going to be. Okay. But then after that, I, I reassured her that everything was fine. And okay. after that, she just gave in because she knew that I was okay. not going to hurt her. Okay. So then she just gave in and just yeah. Just, did it. Okay. Just, yeah. What was she wearing when you guys had sex? Uh, it was a a, a, a dress. It was like a, a Cinderella dress. Okay. Because that's, that's the movie we were seeing. Okay. Together. So she had a Cinderella dress on. Yeah. And what color was that? Uh, it was a like a lightest blue, and it had uh like uh white onto it also. Okay. Yeah. Um, did she have a wig on or no wig? Yes, or wig. What, what color was her wig? Her wig was uh, blonde. Blonde. Okay. And um, did she have that on when she was in the bathroom? Yes. Waiting for you to stab D? 
Oh, no, no. No, that she didn't have it on then? No, she had a different movie on that time. Okay. So the Cinderella dress thing, was that when you were at the movies or yes. was that at her? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So when you were at the movies with her having sex, she had a Cinderella dress on and a blonde wig. Yep. yep. Okay. Yep. But when you had sex with her at her house, what was she wearing this this time? Uh, it was a, like a really dark brunette uh, like wig. It was pretty long. Right? Okay. Yeah. And what kind of clothing did she have on? Um, me and her did it uh, naked. Okay. Did she have clothes on before you guys got naked? Um, not really because she was uh, in the bath. Remember I told you she yeah. was in the bathtub doing that and she stayed naked the entire time because of it. Okay. So she shaved her legs and her vagina, right? Yep. And then she comes out and then she cleans. Is she still naked when she's cleaning? Yeah, she 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 did the entire thing. She she felt like she was in a rush, so she did the entire thing. Okay, did it naked. Yeah. Okay, and then um, then you guys decide you're gonna have sex. Yeah. And then you go into her bedroom. Yeah. Okay, is her bed got blankets on it? Is her bed on the floor? What kind of bed does she have? Um, it was uh the biggest thing I can remember about her bed is that it was full, and I mean full of stuffed animals. Okay. Oh my gosh. How did you guys have sex on the bed if there was a bunch of stuffed animals? We, we threw all of it off of it. Okay. We were just throwing them off onto the floor? Or? Yeah, yeah, onto the floor because there's too much uh, of it on there. I mean, okay. it's got the, the ones that was like part um, a pillow but part also a stuffed animal at the same time. We left that on the bed just, okay. just in case you needed any comfort with it. Was there, um, was, now was D making any noise or was D dead by then? She was... Probably long gone by then. Long gone by then, by the yeah. time you guys are having sex. Yes. Okay. And um, so, um, when you have sex, do you ejaculate? Like, does um, semen come out of your penis? I uh, I think I may have, like, too much, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Stamina or endurance or something like that? Because okay. it takes her a lot to even get in close. Okay. So it takes a long time for you to get there. Yeah. Did you get there that day, that night? No. Okay, so you, you didn't, you wasn't able to nope, ejaculate? Nope, not, not that time. Okay. Was you, at that time during the movie theater, was you able to? I uh, was, I got close to, but I didn't actually, able. I wasn't able to do it though. Okay. I got close. Okay, did you get, and so you got close, did you get close this time at the house? Um, no, actually I didn't get as close as I thought I was going to it. Okay. I barely felt any pleasure actually. Okay. Alright, is there a reason you didn't feel pleasure? Uh, I don't know. It's really hard to say. Is was the time before, like when I first took a uh, virginity. Uh huh. Um, we had a uh, condom on at the time. Okay. And I wasn't used to them at all because the very first time actually I ever wore one. Okay. So we buy that. Uh, it, it must have like messed me up to where I'm not used to, because I haven't had sex for a very long time. Right. Okay. And ever since that time, I pretty much forgot. Like, how to pace myself and all the rest of that. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. When you say you forgot how to pace yourself, what does that mean? Meaning I uh, didn't know how to pace myself in a way where I would be able to build up the actual pleasure. Oh, okay. In a constant motion. Yeah. Okay. 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 So, you didn't ejaculate while you were at their house? Nope. Okay. So, how, when does the sex come to an end? Like, what? how did you determine, okay, we've reached the point where we're done having sex? Um, I did make her uh, have her an orgasm once. Okay. And then after that, I she wanted to blew me a little bit, and then after that, I think we stopped because uh, we realized there was a lot of packing and stuff to do. Okay. And what do you mean when you say blew me? Uh, blew me meaning like uh, she uh, gave me a little bit. Okay. Is that putting her mouth on her pe on your penis? Yes. Okay. Um. Okay. So after that, um. And you guys decide, okay, now we've got packing to do. What do you guys do then after you have sex? Uh, we uh, packed clothes, we packed uh, movies, we packed whatever uh, she thought that we would uh, like need, pretty much. Okay. Yeah. What kind of movies did you guys take? Um, she took some seasons of like um, some uh, like uh, TV shows. Okay. Do you know what kind of TV shows they were? Um, uh, I'm a big TV fan, so I'm just curious. <laughs> Uh, one was uh, uh, Game of Thrones. Uh, okay. And, uh, what other ones were there? I know she took classes in True Blood also. Uh, 
can't remember the, the other ones I've handled. Okay. There's more of them I can't remember. Okay. And so what do you guys pack the stuff into? Um, a... Oh, what the heck? Suitcase. Okay. Suitcase. And what color is the suitcase? It's pink. Okay. And so everything fits in this one suitcase that you guys are taking? Uh, no, no. <laughs> we also took a... Oh, what is it? A backpack. A backpack? Okay. Yes. What kind of backpack was it? Uh, it was black. Uh, I forgot what it said. It had something on the back of it. I forgot what it said, though. Okay. All right. So you take the backpack and you take you pack all the stuff into the um, uh, suitcase, and then what do you guys do? And then uh, we do we finish cleaning whatever else is left to try to get rid of my food, my fingerprints and everything else like that. Okay. So how do you get rid of fingerprints and stuff? Like, what do you do? Uh, she used uh, uh, a defect. A, Defectant, defectant white. Okay. And she uh, pretty much pat it down wherever she thought I might have had my hands. Okay. And did you tell her to do that or did she just do that? She did it because she was uh, afraid of me getting caught, even though I had a weird feeling I was going to get caught, but yeah. You did have a weird feeling you were going to get caught? Mm -hmm. What What gave you that weird feeling? I, I just had this feeling in my stomach that was going to happen and I was. I was just thinking it was only a matter of time for it happens. I wasn't sure when it was going to happen. I just knew it was going to. Okay. All right. Well, you seem like a pretty honorable person. And you love gypsies, so, I mean. Well, that's the thing. I uh, I admitted to, the thing is, me and Gypsy have cried multiple times. Together over this? Yes. Okay. And I've told her this will haunt me for the rest of my life because it's the truth they will. Okay. Well, you're doing the right thing now, so you should at least give yourself credit. You know, don't be so hard on yourself. Um, okay, so, um, you guys get everything packed up, yep. and then she wipes down the fingerprints, or whatever, do you help her? Uh, no, I do not, because I don't want to use any of my, any chances of me getting any fingerprints anywhere else. Okay. So I let her do the rest of it, just so I don't make any more for her to clean, pretty much. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. Now, in their house, is their house really clean and neat, or is it... Um, uh, no, it is not neat at all. It's I, not? That was the first time ever in their house, and I can't believe how much the pigsty it was. Oh, okay. What yeah. do you When you say pigsty, what do you mean? I mean, uh, well, there was one room where it was hard to even get into the room, how okay. much was in it. Then, uh, Dee Dee's bedroom, there was stuff um, along where the... Uh, where the bed is, you got the bed, then you got pretty much where the edge of the bed is. Okay. That's where she had all the different things, just all over there. Okay. I just, I don't know how else to put it, but like, I mean, she might have had like uh, clothing and all different things in there. Okay. Do you remember the, ever seeing a Barney, a Barney doll, or a, Barney. it's like a purple dinosaur? Yeah, yeah. Where did you see that at? It's not in there. I could have sworn I was in her room. Was in that? I think that was in Gypsy's room. In Gypsy's room? That's what I remember. Okay. But do you do you do remember seeing a purple dinosaur? The Barney dinosaur or whatever? Well, I know that she did watch it, but I don't know. Oh, wait a minute. I'm thinking about this now. <laughs> no. Okay. I don't remember seeing one now. You don't? Okay. No, I don't remember seeing one. Okay. Um, I'm not thinking about it. Okay. Um, okay, so you guys get everything packed. She wipes down the fingerprints. And then what do you guys do? Uh, we uh, get a taxi and we get to the hotel from the taxi. Okay. Um, where does the taxi come to? Um, to the uh, address of, of her house. Okay, so you call the taxi, or does she call the taxi? I called it because I was the only one that had a phone to do it. Okay, and then do you give them the address? Yep. Okay, and so they you give them the address and they come to the house. Do you remember what day that was and what time it was? Uh, it was in the morning. Uh, it was really, really like early in the morning. I remember the sun coming up. So. Okay, so you guys didn't sleep there at the house where no. he was at? Okay. No. So you remember the sun was coming up, and you called the taxi? Yeah. Okay, and so when the taxi comes, what color is the taxi? It's uh, yellow. Okay, and is there a male or a female driving? Man or a woman? Oh. I'm trying to remember. If you can't remember, that's fine. I can't remember. Okay. It's, it's just... 
Okay. So you do you both get in the taxi with the luggage? Yep. And then where and where does the taxi take you? Back to my hotel. Room. Hotel. And how much do they charge you? Do you remember? Uh, I can't remember the exact amount. Okay. But then did you pay for the taxi? Yeah. Okay. And then you guys get out of the taxi and then what do you do? And then we uh obviously we paid for it and then we went up to my bedroom or you know my What room was you in? Uh, at the time when uh, we did this, it was 227. What was it? The room was, the number was 227 at the time. 227, okay. So, you go up to the room, then what happens? And then uh, we uh, set everything in the uh, area to where it was easy to move, maneuver around the bedroom of okay. the hotel. Okay. And um, then we uh, just uh, relaxed at... Um, uh, on top of the bed. Okay. I mean, uh, did you guys have sex again? Uh, we did, but we didn't do it right away. Okay. Something that we didn't talk about that we probably should is, um, I've worked cases where people have stabbed people to death before, okay. kind of like this. Yeah. And usually when they do, they don't just get cuts, but they usually get blood on them. Like, you get blood on your clothing or on your hands or, yeah. you know how, probably when you were stabbing her, was blood kind of splattering a little bit or anything? Um, I didn't pay attention to exactly where the blood, I mean, I could actually see, like, where the back of the neck was. Okay. I could see blood coming out of there. Okay. And I could see blood coming off the knife, but other than that, I didn't really know exactly where it was. Did you get any of her blood on you? Uh, yes. And how did you clean that up? I didn't even clean it because it was, uh, we were in such a rush. I didn't even clean it. So you had blood on your body when you had sex mm, with Gypsy? No, I had it on uh, a, uh, what the heck is it? I actually remember what I wear. Okay, what that, did you wear? Uh, I wear a, um, uh, it was like a, what the heck is it called? Uh, I think, I'm not sure if that's the correct term, but I think it's called a uh, spring jacket, almost like. It was okay. uh, black. Okay. And uh, I still had a uh, black shirt on as well as black pants. Okay. What, did your black shirt have anything on it? Yeah. Or just plain black? It had uh, clowns on it. Oh, okay. Was it like a band or a... No. It was a... It, it pretty much looked like uh, uh, crazy clowns, pretty much. Okay. Yeah. And then you had black pants on? Yep. And what kind of shoes did you have on? White shoes. Are those shoes here? No. No. They're at the house? Yep. Okay. And so you had the black jacket, the clown shirt, black no. clown shirt, black pants, and tennis shoes. Yep. And what color were the tennis shoes again? White. White. Okay. Did you have any jewelry on? Any earrings, necklaces? No. You don't look like you. You don't have your ears pierced, do you? No. No. Okay. So, all right. So you go um, to the room. I didn't mean to interrupt you, but I was thinking, oh, we never talked about that. So we That's okay. Talk about that. Um, Okay, so you go to the room, and you're up in the room, and you guys are relaxing on top of the covers. Is that what you said? Yep. Okay, and then what do you do? And then uh, while we're relaxing, um, we uh, cuddled for a while. Okay. And then uh, while we were cuddling, we were talking, but I honestly I can't remember the entire conversation. Okay. Um, did you guys talk about your future? What were your plans for your future? Um, we wanted to uh, uh, have a family together and we wanted to uh, um, build a life together and so we thought we really had a chance to do it so okay. we were happy about that. Okay. At any time during any of this whole situation that's happened, did um, Gypsy ever have to be in a wheelchair? Um, yes. Okay. When was that? That was uh, only when she was living at home. Okay. Otherwise, uh, me and maybe like six other, no, five, I'd have to say five, five other people knew that she could walk. Oh, okay. Why didn't nobody know she could walk? Uh, her mom uh, wanted everyone thinking that she was like 16 the entire time. Okay. So, yeah, she felt kind of trapped <laughs> on a, a wheelchair when she, when I actually was trying to encourage her to be able to walk more and more and more. Okay, so she can actually walk. Yep and stand and do everything. Yep. But her mom wanted her to, to use the wheelchair and pretend yep. like she was 16? Yeah, 16 and disabled, yes. Okay, so what would she do to pretend like she's disabled? Uh, oh gosh, I can't even answer that question because I, I've only been around her one time when she's in her wheelchair. Okay. And other than that one time, 
I mean, it's one of those one wheelchairs where it's motorized. Okay. And uh, the thing moves fast. But other than that, <laughs> that's okay. all I really know. Okay. So, so she can walk everywhere. Yeah. Okay. So when she was with you this whole time, she hasn't had to have a wheelchair. Nope. She can walk upstairs. Yep. She walk, walk downstairs. Walk downstairs, upstairs. Okay. Okay. So. Um. All right. So you guys cuddle. You lay in the bed. Are you talking about having a family then? Yeah. Okay. What do you do with your clothes that you had on? Um. Me and her, we uh, we weren't sure how uh, long we were gonna be awake. So we uh, both got naked and we both uh, got uh, really, really intimate and pretty much like snuggled together okay. for a while. Okay. And and it led to more sex. Okay. So, was you able to ejaculate that time? No. no? I had trouble the entire time I was in Springfield. Okay. Okay. So, um, where did you do with the knife? Um, we uh, wanted to uh, mail it. Okay. To my house. Okay. So did you mail it? Yes. Okay. Did it come? Has it came yet? Uh, yes. Okay. And what did you do with it when you got it at your house? Well, we were uh, planning on hiding it, so we did try to hide it. Okay. Where'd you hide it at? Just in uh, my closet. Okay. In your bedroom in your house? Yes. Okay. And so you just, what kind of package did you put it in to mail it to your to your house? Uh, I believe it's called bubble wrap. Oh, uh, yeah. That clear plastic stuff? It's like that, but okay. it has a brown, uh, like a brown Where did you get that stuff it? at to mail it? Uh, Gypsy had that all set up. Oh, okay. Yeah, she had that already all set up. For she had, she had uh, more than one of those to use. She put it in two of them. Okay, and then so she put it in there. Put your ad Did you write your address, or she write your address? She wrote it down. I have no, I am nowhere that good of penmanship. Okay, so she writes the address on it, and then you guys mail it to your house. Yep. Okay, whose idea was that? Well, it was actually both of ours because we were thinking about like getting rid of it permanently over time. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And so you mail it to your house, and who gets it out of the mail? You, her, or your mom, or who? Uh, my stepdad ended up getting it, and he didn't know that that's what it was. What did he do with it? He uh, just told me that uh, Patrick's got to uh, me, and she would walk up upstairs with it, like, uh, Everything was fine. Okay, they didn't even have a clue. Yeah. Okay. And so, did you take it, the knife out of the package, or did you leave it in the package? Leave it in the package. And then, so, so you guys decided, oh, we'll hide it in the closet? Yeah. Okay. And then, so where did you hide it at in the closet? Uh, the last place that I put it before I came here was, uh, it's in the deep, uh, deep corner. I'm trying to see if I can think of my... Okay, how about this? Like, I'm looking at your... Let's say me and you are standing here looking at that, and that's your closet. Okay. Um, it would be in the deep uh, right corner okay. of the closet. So if I went in your closet, it would go deep right corner like yep. that. Okay. Is it, and it's still in the package, and the package is not opened? Yep. Okay. And um, what do you mean, like, right before you came here? So did, did something happen to make you want to move it from one spot to another? Yeah, so I thought it was not safe where it was. Okay, so where was it the first time? The first time it was uh, just on top of one of my shelves in the uh, closet. Okay. And, and, it was, it, and it was visible, so that's what made me want to move it. Okay, and so you just moved it back there? Yeah. Okay. And um, um, so you did that. So what did you guys do with your clothes? Um, uh, she didn't really have to worry about anything with... Uh, hers because none got on her. Okay. But uh, for me, I uh, I haven't even washed my clothes yet. Okay. You haven't even washed them? No. Where are they at? They're in my duffel bag still. In your bedroom? Yeah. Okay. And what kind of duffel bag do you have? Did we talk about that already? Yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Okay. It's okay. Um, so the clothes are st is still in the duffel bag in the bedroom? Yes. Okay. Um, and your shoes are in your bedroom? Yes. Okay. So, um, okay. So, you, do you guys just wear these clothes t on the bus ride? Um, do you change or? Uh, we did change. Uh, I mean, each day since I had like three days worth of clothes, I did change each day. Okay. And then uh, the last uh, uh, pair that I had of clothes or outfit, I guess you would call it, I just wear that on the bus and read 
the bus the entire way there. Okay. Uh, did you guys ever go to a Waffle House to eat? Yes. Okay, because I thought she said that, that you guys went to Waffle House and eat. Yeah. Um, and is that Waffle House close to the hotel in Spring there in Springfield, Missouri? It's right next to it. Right next to it. Okay. And do you remember what day it was that you guys went there or what time it was? All I know is it was really early in the morning. Uh-huh. And uh, actually, I might even be able to get a time. It was, a, I would say, about maybe like around 8 a.m., I would say. Okay. And uh, the only reason I remember this so well is because uh, I learned, uh, not really learned, it's more like we learned it, that uh, she is, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, I'm trying to think of the, what it is that when you uh, are, uh, you can't drink milk. What is that called? Uh, uh, lactose intolerant? Yes, that's what she is. She's okay. Lactose intolerant. Okay. And so you relearned that, that at this restaurant? Yeah, because you forgot oh. to warn me again. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, so um, you eat at that restaurant. Do you remember what you ordered? Uh, the, uh, I had a... Uh, what was it? it was like a steak and cheese omelet is what I ate. Okay. And I didn't eat really much of anything else that, that I got on there. I think I had like a, a, a raisin uh, toast. Okay. Raisin toast. And then, um, what else? I'm trying to think here. Oh, come on, come on. Uh, I, I ate a little bit of uh, hash browns also. Okay. Um, at that, when you were at that restaurant, was that the day that that morning that you guys, or that you killed D, or was that the um, next day, or what day was that? Gosh, that's the only thing I don't remember. I don't remember the exact day. Okay. I only remember the time. Okay. Um, but would it be fair to say that it was either the 9th, 10th, 11th, somewhere in there? It's somewhere in there. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so, um, okay, so you did that. Um, what day did you guys leave to come back here? The 12th. The 12th. Okay. And that was the whole ticket thing that you couldn't yep. get the ticket? And, yeah. Okay. Um, uh, let's talk about this. When did you, like when you came to Springfield, you went ahead and got the hotel. Mm-hmm. Is that right? Before yes. you went? How did you get from the hotel to her house? By a taxi. Okay. So you had a taxi pick you up at the hotel and drop you off at her house? Yes. And what day was that? Do you remember? It was in the morning. I believe it was on the 10th, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Yes. On the morning. So you went there. And um, is that the day that you killed Dee? Yes. At the same time? So that so the taxi brings you from the hotel to her yes. house. And what's Dee doing? Does she care that you're there? Well, she she is not even aware that, that I'm there because she's sleeping at the time. Okay, so do you go into the house, or does Gypsy come outside, or how does she that... let me in? She let you in the house. Yes. Okay. Did you ever go in that shed? Shed. There's like a shed on that property. Did oh you no. Okay, didn't no. go in there. Did you ever get in their vehicle? No. That vehicle there. So, so you get dropped off by the taxi, and Gypsy lets you in. Yep. Okay, and when you get there, do you already know that you're going to kill D? I, I, I pretty much. I, at that point, I'm, uh, I am made my mind up that it's the only option at that point. Okay. So I just went right for it, and I had a, a latex gloves on and something like that. Okay. So uh, to try to hide my fingerprints. Okay. Did you bring the latex gloves? No, nope, she uh, provided them for me. Okay. So when you get there, you put the gloves on? Yes. Okay, you put the gloves on outside the house or inside the house? Inside, uh, no. I, uh... It was outside the house, but I, as I was walking in, I had them just... So did you and her talk outside before you went in the house? I, I did uh, whisper, because it was part of our plan, and, and she's the one that thought of that part okay. of the plan. Okay. I told her to get her butt in the bathroom because that's what she wanted to do, and I okay. reminded her to get to it right away because I wanted to get this over with and get out of there as soon as possible. Okay, so when you get there, she has the latex gloves or the gloves. What color are they? Um... They're like a, uh, like a cross between like a, a bluish green. It's like okay. it's almost like a turquoise color on muscle. Okay. So Did she give you one glove, two gloves? Two. Two. Okay. So you put the gloves on, and then what do you do? Um. After that, uh, she hands me the knife, and then uh, I take care of the. Rest. Now, does she have gloves on her hands when she hands you the knife, or not? Her fingerprints are on the knife. 
Her fingerprints will be on the knife? Yes. Okay. Because she didn't have gloves on then, huh? Yes. Okay. So, so she hands you the knife. Yes. And then, then what happens? Then she uh, goes straight into the bathroom, locks the door, and she waits for my signal to let her know that everything's clear. And the signal was the three the knocks, knocks and two scratches. scratches. Okay. Yes. Okay. Now, did you make her shave her legs and her vagina? Did you tell her that you wanted her to go in there and shave her legs and her vagina? I think it was a combination of both of us. Okay. I mean, I wanted her to. Right. I'll be honest, I did want her to. Okay. But I think she wanted to do it also because she wanted to make sure that she pleased me, made me happy. Okay. So, yeah. So, what kind of sex do you like? Like, what kind of sex do you like to have? Is it sex like that's where it's the hugging and kissing sex? Or is it the sex where it's a little bit rough? Or is it the sex that you are really violent? Um, me and her, uh, that's actually... That's the thing that is, you, I'm glad you actually asked me that because um, me and her are uh, an experiment thing between all those, pretty much all three of those, right? those sizes. Okay. And uh, uh, the only thing is, is that she knows I would never hit her. Okay. So even uh, with uh, like me getting really, really rough to her, it may hurt. She has gotten better and better at adjusting to it. Okay. To the point she actually enjoys it. Okay. So, yeah. When you say really, really rough, what does that mean? Meaning almost to the point it's violent, kind of rough. Okay, so um, I can't assume or guess anything. So when you say violent or rough, is that, is what, what happens to make that like that? Like, I, are you biting her? Are you punching her? Are you? Um, no, no, I would never lay my hand on okay. her. Okay, are you choking her? her? Are you pinching her? Uh, no, I would not pinch her either. Okay, see, I don't understand. I don't understand what it is. You have to explain it to me. What, what rough is? Um, I, I didn't even bite her at all. Actually, that not for a long time. That is, um, now I'm trying to think of how to explain it. Um, it, it was pretty much to the point where I would use all my force into it. That's okay. the way to put it. Like thrusting into her? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, would would um, there be any reason that she would have bruises on her arms or her legs? Yes, because uh, she wanted me to mark my territory. Okay. Mark your territory. Yeah. She asked you to mark your territory? Yeah. She actually, uh, it was the first time. You know it's okay if, you, if you're the one that asked. You don't think that that, there's no crime there. If you add, if you're the one that's wanting to do this and she's agreeing to it, there's no problem with that. So there's no need for you to like don't, don't lie to me and say no, no, she I'm wanted not. it. If she didn't, it's okay if you wanted it. I know, I know, okay. but I'll, I'm not, but I'm just telling you how how it actually was. Okay. Which was um, the very first time she whispered in your ear uh, that that was a turn on of hers is buddy. Okay. And that's when I bit. What part of her was it? I bit though, because I know. It, oh my gosh! Because the only I only remember the the bit her twice. Okay. The first time I can't remember. The second time I can remember though because I bit her a lot harder in the second time. Okay. However, uh, she seems to still enjoy it even when it was really hard. Okay. So we were going to talk about how she got these bruises on her arm and her legs. Yeah. How did that happen? When you're marking your territory, how are you marking your territory? Well, when uh. Well, for oh, her arms. Are Bruises. The, the one that, um, see if I can remember exactly where one was. One was right here. This is where I bit her. I know for a fact it's, on, it's like on this side. If, okay. If I'm thinking correctly. Okay. Yeah, it's on that side. It, it's permanent. Um, okay. And then I, uh, I think I was trying to give her hickeys on her body as well. Okay. That's the other thing I was trying to do. Okay. And how about her knees or her legs? Why would there be any bruises there? It must have been because she was crawling on the ground when she was trying to clean up everything. That's actually where that came from. Okay. Did you make her crawl on the ground? Was that a turn on for you? Or? Um, there, well, at first, uh, I asked her to do it because okay. it was a turn on. Okay. And uh, it is a turn on, but after that, uh, she just did it because she found it easier to clean because she was at a uh, perfect eye level to be able to find out all what she had to clean up as quickly okay. as she could. Okay. While she was naked? Yeah. Okay. She naked, yes. Okay. All right, so just so we understand each other, like if you tell me that you made her do something sexual, 
I don't, that's not going to bother me, okay? okay? So be honest with me. Okay. If, if that's a turn on, if, if the things we talk about is a turn on and that's how that something's happened, that's okay. We okay. can talk about that, okay? okay? So just like that with her knees, you, you told her to do that, right? Yeah, at first I, I told her to do it because I, I, I always thought it was um, something that would be a turn on and when she actually did it, it, it did turn me on. Okay, okay. Um, do you, do you think it would be a turn on to have sex with her mom? Mm -hmm. No? Okay. Mm -hmm. um, because I think one of the things that she might have said was that you had mentioned that you'd like to rape her mom. Yeah, at, at one point I was thinking about it. Okay. I did actually mention that I was thinking about it, but then I changed my mind because I've, I felt bad for just the whole situation of having to kill her mom in general. Okay. So I decided to just Kill it quickly. Okay, kill it quickly. How long do you think it was that you were stabbing her? Oh, maybe five minutes, maybe. Okay, okay. Um, and did she ever, did Dee ever get an opportunity to punch you or hit you or anything? She was, she was trying to grab onto me, but okay. I was able to get myself free to finish. And I think you said that she had a nightgown on or something yep, like that? Yep. Um, did she have any panties on? No. Okay. And how do you know she didn't have any panties on? Because uh, that's the last thing I saw before I got off of her body and... Okay. Yeah. Okay. So was you actually physically up on her body when you were stabbing her? Yeah. Or was, was you I, standing I, on the side of the bed? Like if this is the bed and, and she's laying here, how were you on her? Can you I, I was not her? actually like on the side of her. Okay. I was actually on top of her, which made it a lot harder for her to resist. Okay. Yeah. So, are, are you like straddling her, or how that's, is that? That's pretty much what it was. I was actually on top of her, on top of her back. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And when you're stabbing her, you're stabbing her with one hand or two yep. hands. One what, hand. What do we say? Okay, yeah. one hand. Okay. Um. So was she wiggling, like trying to get away from you, or? Um. Uh, yeah, yeah, she did try to uh, put up a fight. Yeah, okay. Did. did you tell her who you were, or did you say anything to her? Well, um, yeah, actually I did. What did the you thing, say? The thing was, is, uh, it was like a different form of myself, though. Okay. It's not like how you are. The thing is, is that uh, I don't know if she told you, I don't know how much she told you about me, but... The me you're talking to right now is my normal good self, and that's the reason I feel the guilt I do. Okay. But the one who actually did all this, the thing is, I originally, the good side of me, originally refused to do it. Okay. And that's the reason why it was instant that it happened right away. Okay. Because my evil side is what actually did it. Okay. And, uh, what was it? He, the one thing he said was, uh, you're dead to me, is one thing he said. Who said? That part of me said. Okay. My evil side of me said. Okay. And uh, what other things have you said? No, I want to know what I want to know what you said. Did you was you saying anything to D? No, I didn't say anything to D because that side of me was out wasn't me. Okay. Did your did that other side say something to D? Yeah. What did that other side say? The other side. Uh, that's one of the things that the other side said was was you dead to me. That's okay. one of the things. Okay. What else? Gosh, there's so many things and I can't remember them all though. Was you just saying them, saying them, saying them, saying them? Um, uh, You know how some people sometimes just ramble, ramble, ramble? No. Okay. No, I didn't ramble. Okay. But, uh... I think one of the things he said was, stop resisting, you know you're dead. Okay. It's, I think that's one of the other things he said. Well, it's you that's saying it. I know, I know, but it's, it's the... The thing is, is that I have. You just one got of, angry. More yeah. than one person inside me. There's actually multiple personalities of myself. Have you been diagnosed with that? I probably should be diagnosed with it because it has happened. The thing is, I used to take a medication because okay. I used to hear voices in my head. Okay. And it went away, then it somehow went as part of myself. Okay. So. Does Gypsy know that? Yes. Okay. She does know that. Okay. Because some people use that as an excuse to cover up for the bad things that they do. So if that's what you're doing, that probably no, isn't I'm a not, good I'm idea. Not, that's, not, not, that's not being a man and standing up and, and, and doing what's right if you're going to do well, that. Well, that's, the, like I said, I told her I would, I would 
my part of me or Tommy now, my good part of me, I refuse to do it. And I told her either... Well, you know, is the good part of you what got you on a bus and brought you to Springfield, Missouri to kill D? Well, it was, uh, yeah, it was to actually see her, but as for the killing part, that was solely my evil side. Okay. Solely. I agree with you. That was your evil side. But I don't know how, I don't know, I mean, your evil side was with you when you made the decision to get on the bus and exactly. come to exactly. Springfield, Missouri. I agree Missouri. with you on that. I okay. do agree with you on that. Okay. And your evil side was with you whenever you decided to clean up your blood from yep. the house. Yep. Okay. But, and not, you didn't kill Gypsy, so your good side must have been there too, because you didn't kill Gypsy, because you love her, right? Actually, it's because, uh, the Gypsy likes to call her, well, well her more, um, I'm guessing her mom didn't really know about this side of her, but she has an evil side of herself as well. She likes to call her, uh, Ruby. That's what she likes to call her. Okay. But, um, one of the things he said to her is, never get between me and Ruby is what he said, because uh, I guess that there's more than one of the sides of each other that is uh, in love with each other. So I got one uh, side of her, his name is Kitty, it's like a little girl inside of her. Um, you got uh, another one called Candy. Is this, wait a minute, is this like some kind of sex thing that you guys do? No. Okay, so when you guys have sex with each other, are you Nick and she's Gypsy? Pretty much, but the thing is, is that uh, we don't remember. Uh, sometimes you might not remember, but the thing is, is I've only experienced my evil side coming out one time to actually do what happened. Oh, okay. So this is the first time you experienced the evil side coming out, was yeah. watching what you did on yeah. that night. Okay. Yeah. So your evil side hasn't came out before and caused you to do anything? No, nothing like that. No. Okay. Just just this one time? Yep. Okay. Okay. Um, and how old are you again? 26. 26. So in 26 years, your evil side never came out and hurt anybody or did anything else except for on this night. Yep. Okay. Um, all right. Um, I want to talk to you a little bit about um, some of the ways that you guys communicated. I know you said that you communicated on that Christian mm -hmm. website. Then you guys created communicated on Facebook. And then, did you say you created, communicated Yahoo in your text messages, right? Yep, yep. Okay. Um, so, one thing that I do know is that there were some Facebook posts um, put on that were that were kind of explaining that somebody got hurt. Do you kind of know what I'm talking mm -hmm. about? On Dee's web, or Facebook? Yeah, Dee's and uh, Gypsy's, Gypsy's uh, yeah. Facebook. Okay, so who posted those things on there? I didn't even know the password, so she's the only one that knows it. It's only, only she could post it. Okay, do you know what they say? Um, I read it, but I don't remember what it said. Okay. So, you didn't post them on there? No. Okay. Did she post them on there? Yes, she did. Okay, why did she do that? I think she wanted to speed up the process. Speed up what process? The process of, uh, uh, the authorities getting involved and everything else. Okay. Did you know she made those posts before she made them? Uh, she kind of surprised me with it. Okay, and how did that happen? Um, uh, she showed me it just after she posted it. I'm like, what the heck? And she kind of freaked me out. Okay. Uh, and I didn't do anything about it, obviously. Did your evil side come out then? No. No? Okay. Um, so, you, um, she posts them. Are you in the same room with her when she does it, or are you somewhere yeah. different? We're in the same room. You're in the same room with her? Yeah. And then, so, she makes the post. And then, obviously, you've seen all those people responded to that. Yeah. Okay, did you do any of those posts? How about the one about killing and raping or no. whatever? You didn't do that? No. Okay. See, I think she only posted that to actually get everyone's attention. Why? Because apparently the first uh, posts that she was, or not posted, or it was the posts. I don't even know what it was posted. Yeah, I just trying to remember what she told me. Okay. Um, did you actually look at it with your eyes, the posts? I didn't get to see the posters. That's the thing. Oh. That's the reason why I can't remember it that well. Okay. She just told you about them. Yeah. Because apparently the first ones that she posted, no one was taken seriously. Okay. So she had to be more aggressive, and that's when she said what she did. Okay. Okay. And what, what, I don't understand what she was hoping to gain. Like, what was she wanting to happen as a result of that? I think she just wanted to get uh, past this uh, moments. Oh, okay. She wanted it to be a distant memory. Okay. 
Did she suspect that if she did something like that, we would investigate it and come and speak to you guys about it? Uh, I did you guys ever discuss that? I think we both did, but we didn't understand exactly how to deal with it to the point where we wouldn't get caught. I think this is another reason why we're easily caught, but yeah. Okay. Do you feel like you were easily caught? Yes, I do. Okay. Do you feel like she was easily caught? Yes, I do. Okay. Do you think that if, if Gypsy hadn't asked you to kill her mom, you'd ever killed her mom? I know I wouldn't have done it. Okay. You just did it because you loved Gypsy and Gypsy asked you to do it? Yes. Is that what I'm thinking? Yes. Okay. Or what? Is that yeah, what that I understand? <laughs> okay. Okay. Sorry to confuse you. Um, okay. So, um, where is your bedroom at in that house that you that they arrested you in? It was uh, 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 upstairs. Okay. So, if I walk through the front door of your house, where do I go? Uh, if you go, um, uh, you would turn, uh, take a turn right. Okay. So, I come to the front door and make a right. And when you turn right, you'll see uh, stairs, you walk up the stairs, you turn uh, left, and the room right at the end is where my room is. Okay, so I come in the front door, make a right, go up the stairs, make a left. And then go uh, straight uh, to the last room that's right in front of you, okay. and that's my room. What's your room decorated like? Um, I, it was supposed to be my mom's room, um, the, my mom's room uh, after a while because they were supposed to be building a room for me in the basement. Okay. So it's purple. Purple? Okay. Yeah, purple and uh, is it the only purple room in the house? Uh, no, I believe there's another one which is uh, where my mom's room is right now. Is that upstairs or downstairs? Downstairs. Downstairs. Okay. So your room would be the only purple room upstairs? Yep. Upstairs. Okay. okay. Um, did you guys hide anything else? Um. Yes, actually we did. Okay, what is that? We uh, hid uh, um, the savings of uh, what Gypsy and her mom saved up together. Right, okay. Um, where did you guys hide that at? Uh, we put it back into her uh, backpack. Okay, so all the, all the money is in her backpack. Yeah. And where did you guys get that money at from the house? Uh, it was uh, in a, uh, a dresser drawer. Okay. And it was in a pouch. In a pouch in the dresser drawer? Yeah. Was the dresser drawer in Dee's room or Gypsy's room? Uh, Dee's room. Dee's room. And is it in a dresser like that has a lot of dress, a lot of drawers or one drawer or two drawers? One drawer. Okay. So the dresser has one drawer? Yep. Yeah. Okay. And where is that located at in the bedroom? If I remember when you walk into the bedroom, it should be right on your right side. And okay. Yeah, it should be right in front of you. Okay. There was a safe in Dee's room, wasn't there? Um, I believe there was, but I, it seemed like somehow most of the money somehow Gypsy got out of the safe or something because we had a lot of money. Okay. When you say a lot of money, what's a lot of money? Thousands. Thousands? Is, do you still have thousands? Uh, we barely even used any of it up. Okay. Um, okay. When you guys were in Springfield, I'm sorry I'm jumping around, but I'm afraid that I'll forget to ask you something. Okay. Um, when you guys were in Springfield, I know that you say you went to um, Waffle House yes. and you ordered pizzas. Yes. Did you go to a Walmart? Uh, yes. Okay. And when did you go to a Walmart? Um, we went to Walmart. Oh, when the heck was that? Oh, we went to Walmart. It was uh, the day before we were supposed to leave. So okay. It must have been like the 11th, I'm guessing. Okay. What did you guys get at Walmart? Um, uh, I got, uh, uh, how many was it? I know I had at least, to be like on the safe side, I for sure had at least one two liter of uh, 7-Up. Okay. And I also got a condom, and she wanted me to also get, uh, what else did she want me to get? Um, that I got for her, um, uh, oh, lip balm. That's okay. what it was. Um, did she go in the store with you, or? Not with you? Or? No, she didn't want to go on the side because she knew that uh, she had friends in there and she would uh, ask uh, her if that was, if, if she was like, Gypsy, is that you? Yeah, she okay. was afraid of it. Okay. Um, and so did you go to Walmart once or more than once? Uh, more than once. Okay. And did you go to the same Walmart? Yep. Okay. Um, is that Walmart located by the hotel? It's pretty close to the hotel. Do you walk there, or did you ride in a cab, or something different? Um, with her, I had to ride in a cab. Okay. So the cab would come pick you up, take you to Walmart, and then bring you back? Uh, yeah. 
Okay. Did you go anywhere else in Springfield? Um, we did uh, go to the post office too. Okay, and is the post office by the hotel or somewhere different? Uh, I can't remember the name of the street it's on. Okay. It's not somewhere close to the hotel. I guess it was the closest one to the hotel. What did, did the cab come and you said take me to the post office? Yeah, we uh, asked the cab driver to take us to the closest one there was to the hotel. Okay. That's where they take us. You said one time that you were in room, what, 227? Yep. Did you ever stay in a different room? Yes. Okay, what room was that? The one right next to 226. 226. And why did you switch rooms? Because we ended up um, uh, checking out when we didn't uh, realize that okay. uh, the whole bus situation happened, and that's why okay. it turned into what it did. Okay, that makes sense. Um, so, what was your plan with the money that you guys took? Um, uh, we were going to use it as a savings to... Uh, Pretty much, I get whatever we needed uh, set up. So we were really going to just use it as a, the heck, how do you describe it? Like a nest egg type thing? Well, it was more like to like uh, help each, uh, each other uh, build up and save more. And okay. Yeah, that was pretty much what we were doing. How did you know where the money was at in Dee's room? She told me. Okay, did you get it um, before you killed Dee or after you killed Dee? After. Okay. And she told you which drawer it was? Yep. Did she ever come into the bedroom? She she Did. just refused, no matter okay. what, she refused. Okay. Um, okay. Um, and your clothes are still in your duffel bag. We talked yep. about that. Yep. Um, we sure talked about a lot. Yes, we did. <laughs> Is there anything that we haven't talked about that you think we probably should? I tell you what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to step out real quick, okay. um, and then I want you to think about that, okay, while I'm gone, okay. is to think about is there anything that you haven't told me that you might should, or we haven't talked about something that you wish we would talk about, okay? Okay. I'll step out, and then you think about that, and I'll be right back, okay? Okay. I'm so worried about her tipsy though. Besides being honorable, what does truth where does the truth get me? Besides that. Because the reason I asked this is because uh, me and Gypsy planned on lying our way through this. Because we didn't want to we didn't know how much you guys knew. If we knew how much you guys knew we would have probably probably perfected it. At first I didn't know what was going on until she came down and I had to wait for her though. So apparently she's going to come back in.
I don't know if I'm going to be able to see her. I really don't know. Did you think anything that you wanted to talk about? Uh, yeah, actually I did. Okay. Because, uh, that's pretty much what me and Gypsy talked about before we got here. Okay. Um, I just have a question based on, uh, well, uh, like, two versus lies, pretty much what it is. Okay. What I was wondering is, um, when it comes to, like, uh, um, Telling the truth, other than being honorable, we're also to get me. Because I honestly don't understand. Okay, I, I, wait a minute, I don't understand your question. Say it again. My, uh, I'll ask it again. I said, um, other than um, telling the truth, uh, other than being honorable, where, where else will it get me? Well, I don't really know. I mean, it is, it's honorable to do, to do the right thing. I don't know. Like, my job isn't to know what's going to happen to you. Like, I don't know what's going to happen. Um, my job is to talk to you and um, and get the facts of this stuff, the situation, make sure it matches the evidence, and then um, talk to you about any other time you might have done something like this or how we could keep this from happening again. You know, things yeah. like that. So, yeah. um, have you ever done anything like this before? Nope. Okay. Have you ever killed anyone else? Uh, no. Are you sure? I know I haven't. Are you positive? Yes. Have you thought about killing someone? Well, I might have had the thoughts go in my head, but I've never actually done it until uh, it happened to DD. Okay. Do you think you'll ever kill anyone else? Um, I can't see it happening. Okay. Okay. Um, I wanted to ask you about um, D again. Um, when she was on the bed and after you had stabbed her, did you ever stick your fingers inside of her or touch her uh, private areas with your hands? No. Her breast or her, her anus or her no. vagina? None of that stuff. Never touched any of it with your hands? No. Okay. Uh, would you remember that if you did? Yes, I would. Okay. Um, so would there be no reason that your DNA would be inside her vagina or her anus? Correct. Okay. Did you stab her in the vagina or anus no. with a knife? Okay. No. Okay. Um, when we um, when we found Dee's body in the house, there was several bottles of blue liquid, like in a like a bottles that had like blue liquid in them and spray bottles. Do you know what those were? One was sitting in the middle of the hallway by a hat. There was like a black, I think, New Orleans hat. Do you remember seeing that? I don't remember seeing the black New Orleans hat, no. Okay. But, and you don't know about the blue spray bottles? They look like cleaning bottles or something. I don't know. You don't remember seeing those? Well, um, she did try to use, uh, um, I mentioned those wipes earlier. Mm -hmm. She tried to use those to get rid of my blood off of things as well. Okay. Okay. Well, maybe that's, that's what it is. Um, uh, okay, something that is really important is when you guys were leaving, when you guys, after you had stabbed D, after you guys had had sex, after you guys had packed up your stuff, or um, no. gypsy stuff, did you guys ever go back to make sure that she was actually dead? Um, I must admit that part of me I mentioned before, uh, before, um, I even did the... The one, two, not, three, not, not, scratch, not scratch, 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 yeah. The two, uh, three knocks and two scratches. Before I uh, remember him doing it, as I remember only so much at a time, that's... Because what I remember is, I remember the, the three knocks and the two scratches, but the part I don't remember, is the only reason why I know about how many times it was she was stabbed and everything else, is because it was him talking to me. Okay. Um, whenever, um, did you ever pull the blanket down to make sure she was dead? No. Okay. Did you ever move the blankets or do anything to the blankets that were on her body? No. 
Okay. Did you, you didn't cover her back up or take any covers off of her or anything like that? No. Okay. After you got off of her from stabbing her, after you, you know, you were on her and you were stabbing her, after you get off, got off of her and left the room, did you ever get back on her and do anything else to her? No. Okay. But uh, while I was waiting for Gypsy to get out of the bathroom, uh -huh. uh, I uh, remember that part of me, because I could remember myself just pacing constantly, constantly, constantly. Okay. Back and forth, up and down the hallway. Waiting for Gypsy to get done? Yes, and while I was doing that, my, because that entire time my other part of me was out, but um, the thing was is that it kept on glancing to make sure Gyps uh, Gypsy's mom was dead. Okay, you kept looking to see if she was dead? Yeah. Okay. And did she move or anything? No. She didn't did she move. say anything? No. Okay. Did anybody ever try to call 911 to get help? Uh, no. Okay, you guys didn't call an ambulance for her or anything like that? No. Okay. Um, so you hid the money and you hid the knife. Um, when you hid the money and hid the knife, was that was that your evil side or whatever doing that? Or was that just you doing that or what? Well, um, that part there is me because I felt the guilt that I didn't want okay. to be caught with either. Does your mom and stepdad know what you did? Uh, no, they don't. And this is the first time they ever met Gypsy? Uh, yeah, in person, yes. Okay. Um, and they agreed to let her live there? Yep. Okay. Do you think they're going to be shocked about what you did? Uh, they think of me as an innocent type, so they probably wouldn't uh, ever expect it. Okay. Have they ever seen you get evil and do any, any anything evil in 26 no. years? No? No. Never done anything like that? No. Nope. Um, did you think of anything else that you wanted to talk about? Um, yes. Um, uh, the, I want to just mention this because this is what, um, before we came here, me and Gypsy did come here, um, before uh, we both let, uh, them take us into custody, uh, the reason why at first, I just want to throw this out. Okay. The reason why at first I was lying is because I thought me and her agreed on a lie story. Yeah, most people do agree on the lie story. And that's the reason why I went with it. Yeah, I know. And then I learned that she told yeah. the other thing, so I just let it all out. What was the um, what was the lie story you guys came up with? I'm always interested in that because they never work. <laughs> but what was your plan like? What we uh, was going to say was that um, first uh, I got into Springfield. Uh -huh. by the bus, okay. came to the hotel, and then uh, me and her were texting each other while she was uh, out on the streets. And uh, while that was going on, uh, she uh, uh, asked me for her, uh, oh, man. I asked, oh my gosh. See how it is when you start telling lies? It gets confusing, doesn't no, it? No, I'm getting confused because I'm so tired. Okay. Um, she was supposed to make it seem as if she asked for my room number, so this way she goes straight to my room. Okay. And then after that, um, even though I know that was a lot Did you guys send fake texts back and forth to try to help build up this story? <laughs> but that's the thing, and that's the reason why I said I knew it was a lie. Okay. And that's part of the reason why I, I, I wasn't sure she was going to tell the truth right away or not, because I was ready to tell the truth right away, but I just didn't know what she did. Yeah. Because I'm trying to follow along with the full thing, whether it's the truth or not the truth. It, it, it just, I want to make sure that I get the full story straight with the, what, what she says, too. So. Okay. Do you yeah. think you've done that so far? I only hope I did, because I've told only nothing but the truth. Okay. If you could go back and change something, what would you do? Uh, I would have, uh, the thing is, is This is something uh, me and Gypsy have talked about at least a, at least a hundred times since me and I have been able to live together these days that she's been able to be with me. Um, I kept on uh, going back and I kept on asking her, because this is the question I kept on asking her before. I asked her if she was, I was the one who actually asked her before we even did this killing that happened. Uh huh. I was the one who actually asked her, are you sure you want me to do this? Okay. And then she said yes. And after she said yes, 
I, that's the rest of the story you already know. Okay. But um, the question I kept on asking her besides that, uh, I asked her, are you willing to risk everything to have everything you've ever wanted? Okay. And uh, that's part of the reason why she uh, risked uh, her old life to have one with me. Okay. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Um, so, you didn't really answer my question. If you could go back and change any one thing about what has happened, what would you change? Oh, how this happened? Yeah. Oh, gosh. Would you change anything? Well, the thing is, is I would rather not kill the DD the truth. Because that's the part, that's like the main thing I regret the most out of the entire thing. Okay. Okay. Sometimes what I like to do is when people are cooperative and they tell the truth and they tell their story, um, I like to offer them the opportunity to write an apology letter. Um, and you can write that letter to anyone that you want that's most important, whether you write it to your mom or you want to write it to um, Dee Dee's family or you want to write it to Gypsy or you want to write it to anyone. Okay. Then I like to give people that opportunity. Is that an opportunity you would like to take advantage of? Yeah, I would do it. Okay. Would you like to do that right now? Um, I don't know what to say because... Do you want some time to sit in here and think about it? Because i got to get a camera because i got to take some pictures of you. I can leave you alone to do that if you'd like to do that. Um, oh, jeez. <laughs> you think that's too hard to do? You don't have to do it. You don't have to do it. That's just something that I allow you to do if you wish to do. I mean, I, I, I do feel the guilt where I, I feel like doing it. I really do feel like doing it. I just, okay. I just it, how about how this? How about we do this? It. If you don't want to express it on a piece of paper, tell me, tell me now, if you had to apologize to someone for what has happened, who would you apologize to? The thing is, is uh, I do feel bad for uh, Gypsy's family. I really do feel bad for them. I do feel bad for Gypsy. Heck, I feel bad for all Gypsy's friends. I, there's so many people that... You know, so you would apologize to all of them people? I'd, I'd, yeah, I'd try to apologize as much as I could. Okay. All right. All right, I'm going to go get a camera. I'm going to take some pictures of you. And then we can see what's going to happen from there, okay? Oh, jeez, I'm nervous. Okay. Well, I know you're nervous, but um, you've done what's right. Are you hungry? Do you want to eat this? No. Okay. Let me get a camera and I'll take some pictures of you, okay? Okay. And um, I had a request for uh, one of the detectives. Okay. Which was to go to the whole gypsy one time Hold after this. gypsy one time after this? Okay. Yes. I'll see you. Uh, do you remember who that was that you talked to about that? Um, uh, there was one, I think. Detective, his name was Detective Brad, I think is what he called himself. Okay. Detective Brad, I don't, uh, is it, uh, then there was also another one, I asked a lot of them, I asked uh, Detective Brad, Detective Todd. Okay. I can't remember the third one. Let me go see if, um, that's something that they want to do, okay. okay? That's pretty much up to them, I don't care one way or the other, if, if they want to do that, I'm okay with that, so let me go ask, okay? Okay. But first, before that could even happen, I have to take pictures of you. Okay. okay? Um, I have a question. Yeah. I was wondering, um, why exactly do you have to take pictures? Just, um, clear on that. Okay. The reason I'm going to take pictures is because I see these injuries on you. Yeah. Remember you told me that you cut yourself whenever you were stabbing D? Yeah. So I want to take a picture of that. Okay. And then you said that you had an injury right here from yeah. you that got re-injured. So I just want to take pictures of you for that. Okay. Do you have injuries anywhere else? Um, not that hard, no. Do you have any marks that, that Gypsy did? did to you or anything that she did to you? Did you um, want me to photograph or? No. Okay. Are you sure you're not hurt anywhere or anything? Other than where I'm already been at home. Okay. All right. I'll be right back. Hey, how are you? Hello. Hey, thank you. Great, this is Detective Hancock with, yeah. with my sheriff's office. Yeah, I just office. introduced myself to him. Okay. Okay. You want to do the paper to stand up for me just real quick? All right. Whoa. 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 Let's go back just a little bit for me so I can get some full body shot up there. A little bit more. Kind of one. Okay. There you go, right there. Perfect. Okay. All right. Uh, put your feet together. Like 
Um, put your hands over like this. Okay, let's kind of look up. Got anything on your face? Any scratches, marks, or anything? Um, not that I'm aware of. Okay. Um, how about your feet? Anything on your feet? Uh, this foot, yes. Right there? Yeah, I see the scratch. Yeah, how'd you get that? Um, that was uh, from me uh, getting arrested earlier. Oh, okay. I put your feet like this again. Okay. Were you able to peel those babies back? And let me see the wounds that you got on there. Yeah, there you go. Ah. I know. It's... I. How about, uh. I. I. The thing is. is... Yeah. You do it quick. What, what's what's that? Is it scratches or is it open wounds or what? These are uh, open wounds. Oh no, not open wounds. There's uh, uh, irritation burns, and then over irritation here. Irritation burns from what? Because uh, I, by the way, I hit the ground. Oh. Okay. It made me. It's like a rug burn. Oh okay. Okay. Yeah. What about your fingers? Well, this one, uh, I got it because of uh, they were taking my uh, blood. Okay. And then this one was from the knife. Yep. Okay. Can you undo that one? Is that yes. possible? Yeah, I can do this one. Okay. Oh, where the heck is it? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Right there. Yeah, right there. Okay. Just move over a bit. Let me this one. Okay, there we go. Another question for you. Sure. On the Facebook account, did you communicate with with her on the D Gypsy account, the D Gypsy Blanchard account? No. Okay. What Facebook did you, account did you communicate with her on? Okay. I'm gonna get rid of. There's a lot that we got rid of. Um. The lot that you guys create, she created, and you guys deleted. Yeah. Okay. What were they? Um. Uh, one was uh. I think it was a. Uh, Named as Emma Rose was one of what them. What is it, Emma? Yeah, Emma Rose. E M M A. Yeah, Rose. Okay. Um. What was the picture on Emma Rose? Uh, well, right now it's deactivated, so I wouldn't really. What was it before it was deactivated? Uh, I can't remember actually. Okay. So, Emma Rose, what else? Um, I'm trying to make a note here because I don't have my paper with me as soon as my phone gets back up. Okay, Emma Rose. Um, so what other ones were there? Was there a Bella? 
That one's our uh, conjoint uh, account. What's it called, Bella? Bella Rose. Uh, oh no, it, no, no, no. It's actually the the full thing. It goes as Nicholas Bella Rose. Nicholas, I'm sorry, I gotta make myself a note here. So, I, is this one still activated? Yes, it is. Okay. It's still activated. Okay. Uh, what else? Was there ever a uh, Gypsy Rose? Um, there was, but that one was long gone to the point that it's probably off Facebook by now. Okay, anyone else? Anything else? Um, not that I can think of. I can't remember any other. Okay. Because, I mean, they, I, uh, forgot about all of the accounts because there's so many I, I can't keep okay, track. Okay, that's alright. You gotta do the best you can, right? Yeah. Be right back. <laughs> Thank you for giving me that. I couldn't remember what they were. Screw it, that's the truth then too. If I tell the truth, I mean, it's dead. Yeah, it, 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 it fucking sucks just having to say it. I really just want the best possible outcome to this as possible. I wonder what it is. I want to know what it is.
Just let you get the best out of him as possible. The reason I said all this is because the brothers just let it all out. I honestly don't think there's anything else I could do anyway. situation at all. I, mean, I feel horrible. I mean, I miss Gypsy, believe it or not. I mean, the thing is, is that she kind of... I thought she was going to protect me, but then she said the truth. I don't know if she did it because she loves and loves me the best. I had a question for that lady. Does Gypsy even want to see me? I feel like she betrayed me. Who is that lady? She said she's going to be right back. I think we can get a boss to jump back in. She's probably crying because she realized what she did for me. Can someone really check on Gypsy for me, please? I got this weird feeling that she's freaking crying because what she did for me.
So she had to come back. Better be able to see Gypsy. I just want to go along with her and tell her to take a candy pick on the hotel and you can too. But the best lawyer you can for me. I'll show you fight for me every bet you can. Because right now you made me take the fall. When you say you're sorry. I should realize it meant they were going to let me take the fall.
Oh no, I am not here tonight. It doesn't. I wish, I really wish that Gypsy could say hi to me. I wish I could just hold on to it and never let it go. The thing is, I already feel guilty. There's no reason to punish me for something I'm already guilty of. Makes no sense. Punish someone for something they already know they're guilty of? Maybe they know it and they learn a lesson and they won't do it again? They don't need to sentence me into anything. That's a one-time thing. I'll never kill again. I freaking waited 26 years to freaking kill one person. I hope that's the only person I ever had to kill. Because if I never ever... Check this. Can you stand up for me, please? Yes. Yeah. Sure. Let's go ahead and leave the blanket there. Stand here and face the wall for me. Okay. Right, hands to this wall on your back. Okay. What's going on, sir? We're going to be moving you up to a different place where you're just going to hang out for a little bit, okay? Okay, um... Uh, that's going on exactly, sir? Well, I don't know, um, but we don't have a facility or, or appropriate place for you to sleep down here. So we're going to um, be just taking you up to a location where you're going to be able to relax. Uh, 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 okay, don't turn around for me. Okay, oh, okay, okay, I'm sorry. No, it's just... All right, can you separate your feet, please? Yes. Anything on you at all? Nope. Just need to perform a pat down on a search, okay? Okay. hoping I would have gotten to see Gypsy one more time. Yeah, I don't think that's going to happen tonight, okay? Tonight? I was... Uh, uh, the thing is, uh, sir, is that I know that this is going to be a long wait for me. Okay. And that's the reason why I was hoping I would have going to at least get to see her this one more time before that I, long wait I happens. don't have it in my power to make that happen for you. Um, so, unfortunately, right now, just given the, what's, what's all going on, okay, because it's still all in the works, we don't want you guys to talk, okay, well, um, maybe down the road that might happen, but not right now, okay? Oh, uh, the other detective, I thought she was supposed to come back in here, all of a sudden she's not coming back in, or? Uh, she, she'll talk to you in the morning. In the morning. Yep. Oh, she's back. Yep. And do you step out here for me? Okay. Turn to the right. 